Welcome to Scrambled Brains. Welcome to Scrambled Brains Wordcast. I'm Matt Clemens. I'm Nikki Bell. And I'm Will Runyon Jr. This is episode 119. Dun, dun, dun. AKA, we're going to talk about Deadpool. Uh, yeah. well, we don't hold not, yet, not, not yet, not yet, but yet, we will yet. at the end of this show. Let's, so let's, let's knock it Spoilers at the end of this show. Bad I didn't bars. say my thoughts on Deadpool yet. Okay. Oh. Uh, real quick, just, you know, it's been a good week. No major deaths. One Supreme Court justice, but. Yeah. You know, yeah. Who cares? Yeah. Fuck them. Have you guys <laughs> seen the uh, this conspiracy theories? There's been a lot of them, <laughs> yes. I can see everybody bitch slapping or. Bitch fighting with each other like you can't appoint him this close to an election, man. Right. Yeah, but here's Here the deal. Hold up, I don't, I don't care. This, this now it doesn't matter what party you're part, you know, you're part of. This is what happens. Right now, the Republicans are going up. It's an election year. We can't appoint anybody. The Democrats are going. Well, it's just unconstitutional. You can't do that. And they go. Oh yeah. Here, here's footage from 2007 where the where you're going. We're not going to appoint anybody. <laughs> well, if we they, don't want George Bush's appointee. We're going to block every exa- one of them. If they, right. if they, so it's like, hey asshole. You know what's you know. If there's sorry. a precedent, they have to go with it. Uh, apparently, in the 1950s or 60s, uh, the Democrats put in a a, a rule saying uh, during election year you cannot appoint hmm. i mean that's just one of, it's one of oh, those and things you mean now they don't want to abide by it when yeah. it's going to come back and bite, bite them in the, the ass, ass. It's amazing how that it, it's when it when it's good for our guys we're fine with you would that. think if they would have thought that us, through and gone works. hey this is going to really help us this year but what happens in the future ah who cares that won't ever happen that's right. you just described uh, all of the government. Yeah, policies. I know that's yeah. pretty much politics <laughs> pretty much. in a nutshell. What I just said. But who um, the fuck cares? That's never gonna happen. Non Deadpool news, real quick. The Daredevil season two trailer dropped. It was awesome as well. I I'm really looking forward to this. Oh yeah. Uh, one thing I thought was I I noted uh, I thought was interesting. I don't think I've seen before in a trailer. Wait, you, we're talking about the you ju- you just said Daredevil, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, Daredevil. Daredevil. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say Deadpool. I, I was like running some other stuff. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Um, okay, yeah, Daredevil. And then my mom the, caught me with my pants down. Right, Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, she's my, my terrible, horrible. <laughs> uh, no, uh, no. But at the end, it said the it it like had a date for the next trailer. Yeah, it's like well, it's, it's a two part trailer. <laughs> right. That's crazy. So this this, it's this, like, w- this is as important as the show. All of a sudden, well, you trailer know, coming out. Because I watched a, a Ghostbusters one where <clears throat> it was a teaser for when the trailer <clears throat> was going to uh, drop, yeah. and I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, but it's really. I thought that was really interesting. It, well, show the it just shows the That's the the culture that's happening. You know, I mean, I it is an event when these trailers come out now. Well, but what it is, I think, is they didn't want to cram it all into one trailer. And it's well, like, crammed a lot there, this there's, there's two yeah. stories going on. You got the Punisher story, and you'll have the Electra oh, story. Right, a trailer so. with a cliffhanger leading to another, <laughs> another trailer. trailer. That's crazy. Yeah, but it was. Yeah, it's exciting. This man. looks fantastic. This, no, this whole. It looks, I, it's like it is. It's like scary. Like I don't know. It, I know, I'm, right? It's dread. They're they are they already building a sense of dread for. But here, how, like violent. No, uh, I could be wrong. I'll have to rewatch it frame by frame. I think he's wrong. wearing two different suits. Oh, Deadpool? Dare, or Daredevil. 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 Yeah. The other one? Yeah, um, because I think it, cause I think one's more red. It's right. not got the maroon and black. Yeah, and there's more... one that's like red and black, and then there's one that looks like it's all red. And and it had like stitching across the face. Yeah. Well, like I'm, a... I'm wondering if he fixed, because I think what's going to happen is, is I think, I think uh, Punisher's probably going to kick his ass the first time or two, yeah. and he's going to need a new suit. So look, but I the, the, the problem with this is, is oh, uh, this guy's tracking down gangsters back to their hideouts and killing them all or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, wouldn't cops be going, Fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, well, maybe they are. Maybe I, I like, can see Daredevil where Daredevil doesn't want him to go that far, but maybe the cops are like, I, I can see where the, the, he's doing what the we politicians can. have got to cover their ass. They'll go, yeah. Oh no, this was a horrible thing. Right. We can't be having this. And the cops are going, geez, we can't go after these guys. You know, and this guy, he's doing it them for out. Us. Yeah. Right. Well, that's why some people consider the Punisher a hero. And some people consider Punisher the villain. He's exactly. really a borderline guy. No, no, he kills. Sometimes, that's sometimes, all he's, he, sometimes he's the good guy. In his own comic book, he's the good guy, but then he comes up against Spider-Man. Spider-Man has to stop him because right. he's the freaking Punisher, and right. he's going to so kill killing, people. He's going to kill somebody. And, that's, just just and, then, and so in that comic, he's the bad guy. Right. And he's just this kind of character. But I, I love it when he's saying stuff like, you're just a guy who doesn't go far enough. Right. And he goes, one, half- bad, one bad day, and you're me. And where did right. that come from? 
know. The Killing Joke. Oh yeah, one bad day yeah. and you're me. That was if you read the Killing Joke, yeah. that's that's the Joker's whole thing. All all it takes is one bad day. Huh. And well, guys, it's funny. And I'm getting really it. close to that one bad day, so I <laughs> hope you guys like being it. friends with a supervillain. Uh, um, oh, oh yeah, and also uh, what was the other? oh yeah when you put people down they come back or whatever, when I put you know, people I, down. They, they no, do, yeah. yeah, you put them back down they come back. When I put them down they stay down. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. I, I, this is going to be good. Oh yeah, it looks very good. Right. Uh, since it's I'm, a when he opens dope. up the trunk and he's got all the guns in the trunk, I'm like, holy shit! <laughs> right. Oh, and you see all the homemade. <laughs> oh looks yeah, like the can canned grenades. I'm like, oh like, yeah. Oh my gosh, something. this is going to be so great. If he, but he has to put the skull shirt on before the end of this. Yeah, there's he no has to. Something. It's well, like Daredevil didn't have the costume until the very end. I'm sure it'll probably be it'll be a big reveal in one of the. Episodes. Yeah, what it is is he'll raid he'll raid somebody's armory and some like punk is spray painted a skull and he'll right. wear that at the mm-hmm. end. For yeah. protection or something. But they and they did have the giant X ray of a skull. Yeah, I love yeah. how they put like, that up there. Yeah. Boom. It's like, oh, yeah, the Punisher. Right. <laughs> yeah. And there's no way that they're gonna use the skull in all the trailers and stuff. No, no, and not I know. Use it's, it somehow. Oh, it's just, yeah. oh this oh. looks really, really and then Electra at the end. Yeah. Oh, oh, right at the end. Yeah. yeah. I oh my gosh. So it, it looks good. You know what I you know what yeah. I did notice a suspicious absence of? Vincent D'Onofrio is Kingpin. Right. Oh, yeah, he's locked up. Yes, but... And we haven't heard anything about not, him. Yeah, are you going to tell me he's not going to have somehow play into all this? Unless he's orchestrating something from a cell. <clears throat> and or, are we going to see Bullseye? I haven't heard anything about Bullseye. Yeah, well, so, yeah, there's hasn't really... There's no... Honestly, like the, the Punisher's really the old. well. Exactly, the Punisher's the, the villain, villain in this. This is like the yeah. Civil War of the Netflix series. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Well, that's what I was gonna say. Speaking of you know the anti-hero thing, you know, just I just finished. I and I forgot to bring them back oh, to you. Okay. But I finished all the Civil War comics, and yeah, that that mo- that scene between the Punisher and Captain America. I think <laughs> I've talked about. And there's that before. extended on it. You know, yeah. it's, it gets extended upon in the Punisher books. Yeah. 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 Right. And I've I've read about that before, but I didn't remember that it came from Civil War. And I and that was the first time I really understood that dynamic, like that he Frank Castle is a, a soldier. Yeah. You know, like Captain America is basically his hero. Like that's why he became a soldier. He wanted to fight for America. And yeah. you know, the, I, the well, he didn't go crazy until of, they killed his wife and right. kid. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and and then he became everything that you know he became. He disgusts Captain America. Yeah, it's like it is. It's kind of oh, a that would hurt. But yeah. I do it for you, right? I did it for yeah, the and American. your hero was like yeah. everything you stand for is the antithesis of what I stand for. Right. No. Yeah, I, I love that angle on the whole. Thing. No, it was. Uh, but since we're talking about Daredevil and a, a Walking Dead alumni, oh, Walking yes. Dead came back last night with a vengeance. Oh, Holy was a great shit. episode, man! I completely <laughs> forgot about the grenade or the the rocket launcher. Yes, right. Me too. Yeah. Oh yeah, that, yeah. It was. I loved it, man. They finally. I. I was. The whole thing with Carl. I don't know if we wanted to be too spoilery. But, yeah. But, uh, right. Yeah. I was. I was. I was like starting to think they weren't going to do it. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Just like uh, Rick would have lost his hand by now if yeah. they was going to do it. But you know. Yeah. But yeah, with thing with Carl. Uh, they what they did is at the end of the the end of the mid season. You're like, oh god! You knew exactly what was going to happen, mom, mom. Yes. And and then when it didn't happen at the beginning, you're like, well, shit! They're they're changing it on right. us. And guess what happens anyway? Yep. Yeah, yeah. So, which I thought was smart. It was kind of oh. yeah, that little like faint, and then they like hit you with it. They, I'm so uh, confused. The, the, well, the director come out and said there will be no more fake deaths. We're not going to do that to you anymore. Okay. You know, we kind of learned our lesson. <laughs> because everybody's like, fuck you. Well, that's because everybody's like, no, because that was like, everybody's like, he ain't dead. He crawled underneath the gang. The other guy's body was on top of him. And, and guess what happens in and this that's one? exactly what happened. So. Yeah. Uh, Glenn's back. He's fighting all these zombies, and they bum rush him. I mean, he's like, he's going down, and here comes all these, and you're going, oh, shit, not yeah, again. It's like, down. is there a hole in the fence? <laughs> is there what? And all of a sudden, this machine goes, and just mows down all the zombies. Mm. So he survived. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. Glenn's getting way too many close calls. You know what I want to yeah. see is I just want to see Glenn become the Kenny of the, the Walking Dead. Like, <laughs> Every didn't you episode. die? No, I'm a fine. I'm fine. What are yeah. you talking about? And it's always there's up. like a small <laughs> hole that he crawls into. Or yeah, under something. every episode he like you think he dies and he just keeps coming back and back. Of course, time. of course, if Negan, like the scene with Negan, there's yeah. no way out of it. There's right. no way. Yeah, can, there's no question. There, there's that. no hole. There's no dumpster. Right. There's. 
wondering though, like it's almost like they've like almost set it up where they can't do it because they've, you know, it's like they've cried wolf. I don't know. It it it's like they've toyed with people or yeah. with Glenn too much. And now, and now they're gonna be like, they, he ain't dead. Yeah. Now if they actually do it, people are gonna be like, but, but, you you already you already killed him once. Yeah. You know, like I don't know. I I I think don't, you may, don't keep doing this. It's probably gonna be Carol or something. You know. Um. Uh, Batman vs. Superman, the final trailer. We just watched final it. Oh, how trailer. much longer till this thing comes out? Uh, the 25th of March. Okay, so we got about a month. This is the trailer they should have put out first. Yeah, yeah. this is a pretty good trailer, Because we are seeing Warner Brothers is worried. They're worried. There's even they one should thing, be. They're like, well, our, they have actually come out and said, well, we've got a problem. Our movie is so sophisticated <laughs> and deep. <laughs> That 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 the what they call them popcorn crowd that goes sees the Marvel <laughs> movies might not understand our artistic you know blah blah yeah. bullshit. In other words, if you don't come see our movie, you're a stupid head. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of what they're saying. It's like fuck. <laughs> I can't believe they pulled that. And and they're saying if this uh, a, a quote from I can't remember who it was from. This has to make a billion dollars or people will lose their jobs. Wow. <laughs> There's some stakes. There's some, and and if this does not perform, they didn't say if this doesn't make money. I almost if this know. doesn't perform to their expectations, you know, I'm they're going to push back Justice League and put the new Batman movie. Ben I kind of wonder if people will just anyway. not go to it just to see that happen. <laughs> yeah. Like I kind of think, like, DVD. I kind of think people didn't go see Fantastic Four just because they were like, "Fuck you, Fox." Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll cover that. Did I? I actually saw Fantastic Four this weekend, and oh it Lord, was why not? Did the library get it for free? No, I paid for it <laughs> on uh, what? Like demand on demand? Redbox, Redbox. Why, man? I, it's, don't pay um, for that. I only paid a dollar something for it. I also got Man from Uncle, which was pretty good. Okay. Which was just a, a two hour long tryout for Henry Cavill as James Bond. I mean, <laughs> holy shit, he might as well. I know they called him Napoleon Solo, but that was fucking James Bond. But uh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, whatever. What happened to that movie? It just died. I don't know. It, it was pretty anything, good. Man. Yeah, I've seen stuff. It and... was pretty good. But Fantasy Four, not as terrible as people made that out to How? be. But not. Good. No, Not it wasn't good even at all. good. That's how I, f- I I saw it. I watched it on a plane. Could have uh, been a better. Ago, could have been a lot and better. I fell asleep. I don't you know, know how much worse it could be. Portion of it. Oh, it could have been worse. Was it George? Was it George Cameron? FF bad <clears throat> or not? George Cameron? A Roger Corman? Yeah, Corman, was it Roger yeah. Corman? FF? No, that was bad? actually more faithful. But yeah, <laughs> no shit. It's, That's what I'm saying. It was I mean, worse it's better, than that. Better than every Transformer movie I've ever seen. <laughs> Uh, oh, we uh, need to cover I mean, that's that. Not saying a lot, but it was real quick. Uh, a uh, French magazine has what they did, and I guess they weren't supposed to do it. They released all the actors in Batman v Superman who they're playing. Oh, part of it, Barbara Gordon. Yeah, I knew Barbara. That was a K- rumor. KG Beast. Yeah, what? Jimmy Olsen, Leto in a Joker flashback. Wait, wait, Joker flashback. So like, does that mean like Joker's not in it. In it. Yeah, he's just in it as a flashback. flashback. So he's not the villain. And Hal Jordan. Hal Jordan? But and, not Green and, Lantern. Well, right? it's... And they're, they're talking... And it's Ryan Reynolds? Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> Technically, <laughs> I would don't make my costume that. green. <laughs> they should give him a chance to redeem himself, <laughs> like with Deadpool. Um, <laughs> apparently, they're all supposed... Cyborg, Flash... This they're all supposed so, to be in it as cameos. Too, putting too okay. much shit in They these. are... They are. It's only I love a Cyborg. two and a half. I love Cyborg. He, they might as well just call him Token Black. Yeah, Token. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. At least use the John Stewart Green, Green Lantern. Lantern. It makes more sense. Do, it makes way more sense. And you don't want to go back to Hal again after that terrible movie. So just use the, He's an actual Green Lantern. He's African American. Just, just use him. Right. Oh, I don't know why they're forced in Cyborg uh, And in also, uh, is Cyborg, which one came first, Cyborg or Deathlock? Do we know? Oh, that's know? another one of those weird ones. Deathlock. Oh, um, yeah, Marvel. Deathlock was the seventies. Mm-hmm. It was, I think, it was a spotlight. It was a Marvel spotlight from the seventies. Yeah, or early, early. 80s. I'd say Deathlock came before Cyborg. I think he did too. Um, Maybe I don't know. I Cyborg was around in the eighties for sure. Those eighties Teen Titans runs. Yeah, but that was like eighty. Well, no, I, I remember like eighty two. Starfire it, had really seventies hair there at the beginning. <clears throat> 
All right. Big old biddies. Oh, big shit. Big old biddies. They were huge. <laughs> and they actually put that in a, a Teen Titans Go cartoon. What? I love Teen Titans where they, Go. Where I they're like talking that. about, they're they're talking, and it's like their comic selves, and she's, boom, she's there. <laughs> I'm oh, like, holy crap. Anyway, um, <laughs> Ash versus the Evil Dead. Yay. It got, I, there, I pulled something up on our Facebook page. It got pulled. Hmm. We're, uh, um, God, what's his name? Bruce Campbell. Bruce Campbell said, look at some of this graffiti I saw. And it said, Walking Dead Returns, blah, blah. And he had marked out walking. It said, Ash versus Evil Cross Dead. The Evil Dead yeah. Returns, I think it was September, October. Yeah. And it's gotten pulled down. Oh, I don't that know if he's supposed sucks. to. But I Lee, love that kind of marketing. Lee Majors will be his dad. Oh, that's Oh, great. yeah. And really? Ted, Six million dollar man. Yeah. <laughs> and Ted Ramey will be a childhood, a childhood friend. In season two. Oh, okay. Well, so, Ted Raimi's got to be in everything. That's, that, so it's just autobiographical. Yeah, now, no shit. <laughs> now, you got to wonder, though, Lee Majors, as his dad. I love it. His his daughter and his son go off with their girlfriend, boyfriends, to party in a cabin. They never come back. It's been 30 years. Mm-hmm. So that's going to be an interesting story. <laughs> Ash, I haven't seen you. Ashley, I haven't seen you in forever. Where's your sister? How's your sister doing? <laughs> Well, Dad, um, I thought she came back. Yeah, she uh, didn't. She, she told she's me not here. Home. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Ash, I thought you said your sister. Shut the fuck up. He doesn't. Shut up. <laughs> oh wait, no, her boyfriend. She she was riding with her boyfriend. I thought, uh, like, didn't she? Or no, she she didn't have a boyfriend. She was the one. She yeah, was she, the was, she, she was. She was a single. single. She was off on her own. I she was the one single. Was, uh, three girls and two guys. Didn't she die first? Yeah, she was the she one down in the first. basement. She yeah, was, yeah, no, well, she yeah, got, she went outside and the trees grabbed her. Was that her? Ah, oh, gosh, so. I just saw this Might not too been. long ago. Yeah. Yeah, I can't keep time. the order of the kills right. But also, yeah. uh, thanks to is it Neca N A Nika Nika. Uh, I mean, yeah, Ash and the Walking about. Dead figures. Yay! I'm not gonna buy them. You got a? It wasn't S Mart. What was it in Ash versus? It was oh, was what it V Mart. No. Oh, it was like a full word. It was yeah. like, like Discount Mart or something or like something. that. something. Yeah, it wasn't S Mart because I was like, yeah. what the fuck is S Mart? And that's because they don't own the rights to Ash or yeah. Army of Darkness. Huh. But, uh, Which is bullshit. He's in his red you know, store at uniform and his blue. They got one with his blue oh. with the chainsaw. I don't know. that. Might, I might have to buy the, the, the Ash with the chainsaw. And, and they the do blue. come with alternate heads, you know, like and angry the shotgun, or whatever. Just and the to shotgun, put on yeah. my... Put on my shell. So we'll have to see. Usually they do like more like what seven, eight inch figures. Yeah, they're basic. They're, they're a bigger. lot like um, McFarlane toys used to be. Okay, they're more they're statues. They're almost like statues but, that that have yeah. some joints that you can move and interchange yeah. stuff, and they look really they're really well sculpted. Um, thanks to uh, Toy Fair, also we found out there will be three the the, the set up for three new Transformers. It'll be Transformers mm. Five, a Bumblebee origin story, and then Transformers Six. Bumblebee who can't talk. Uh, well, maybe it's well. maybe at the ends where he gets his vocal cords damaged. No, he got his vocal cords repaired in Transformers One. So I don't know why he doesn't talk through Transformers <laughs> Two. Through. Well, everybody loves the sound effects guy. No, I don't. Yeah, that, yeah, so, uh, yeah. Michael yeah, he, yeah Michael, Michael Winslow from Police Academy. Yeah, they're bringing it back, man. Transformers so, oh, so we'll are an 80s thing. His, I always assumed it was in the crash when he came to Earth that he his. No, uh, Megatron jacked him up before they even got to Earth. Okay, whatever. What you know, they're machines and shit can, is replaced. I don't know how that. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like Jazz never came back, even though he was torn in half. But I'm pretty sure. Well, his spark was extinguished. Whatever. You can put it back together. <laughs> yeah. yeah just you know what the problem was? O'Reilly's get a new. No, spark. he bent the frame. You can't bring oh, a car back right. after the frame's <laughs> bent. Yeah, that's true. Uh, sad, <laughs> sad news. Kanye West apparently has fifty three million dollars in personal debt, and he's whining about it, needing people to help. Oh, him out. boo! Oh, fucking who? And I actually kind of maybe unrelated. I just heard you know he like I think wasn't wasn't it Kanye and like Jay Z and like they they released like a new music streaming service like a few months ago, and it kind of flopped. Oh, I have it's no called, idea. It's called Tidal. Oh god! And like, uh, entitled. Everybody was talking uh, <laughs> about like it being kind of. Garbage, I guess. entitled, but freedom. apparently, <laughs> I just got that. <laughs> he he like took advance orders for oh. an album that, and like I I don't know and how he much never money, produced never it, never produced yeah, it, good. and hasn't given any refunds. Oh yeah, because and it's it's I one wish thing I could get money 
millions of dollars for doing nothing. You no, know, sorry, Kanye. And he went to Twitter and he wants like Mark Zuck- Zuckerberg to back him on some stuff. I mean, and fucking no. You know, just just inve- he wants Mark to like invest a billion dollars in me, man. I'll go. <laughs> You can't feel sorry for someone. It's like, yeah, I had three hundred million dollars, no, no, no. and don't know what happened to it. But <laughs> this asshole yeah. like rented out like some fucking baseball stadium in Los Angeles. The whole stadium, the whole stadium, oh, yeah. sixty thousand seats. Professional baseball player, billion dollar stadium, rented the whole thing out so he could propose to his fucking fuck tape whore. What? <laughs> Kim Kardashian. Mm. Oh, are they okay? Yeah, no, they're married. Oh yeah, all right. Yeah, because she's I a perfect bitch. Who, who, who was the who was the guy Wait, that, that done quote? it? It was uh, was it Ray J or I who don't was, know. It was. I love it. It's what, one of those tape. Yeah, Ray J. It was Ray J. He goes. It shows Ray J looking up and Spike goes. When you realize you've made a whole family famous because of your dick, yeah. <laughs> which is true. Yeah, that's all it. But um, I, every you know it's. <laughs> Every time I see Kim Kardashian, all I can think about is that scene in Airplane with the little kids. They're like two kids, but they're acting like they're adults in Airplane. Yeah. And, oh. and he goes, he goes, would you? Oh, she goes, would you want cream for your coffee? And she goes, no, I like my coffee black, like oh, my yeah. men. <laughs> Big old titties. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, that's all I've got. Anybody got anything? Oh, else? Uh, 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 Star Wars, just the uh, first day. Yeah, shooting. the first images oh, from yeah. Episode Eight. Luke's the one positive emotional response from me from Star Wars Episode Seven was seeing Luke Skywalker <laughs> at the end, and now I'm seeing Luke Skywalker again. Where? Um, There's a picture. It's from the oh. set of Episode Eight of him oh. as full oh. outfit. Oh, I mean, it picks up where Seven I, left off. Take, yeah. take the take what you saw of Luke Skywalker at the end of Episode Seven, right at the end. Now imagine a picture of that just really close up on his face. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Right, but yeah. it is from the episode eight set that they are filming right, right. now. Right, yeah, I got a tweet, you know, from John Boyega, I, guys. I, uh, oh, you did. But uh, did he says I'm not going to be such a turd in the next movie because I no, he no. didn't make any promises. But but uh, you know, just said that yeah, starting shooting. I don't know. It, mm-hmm. it was exciting to me, um, also. Okay. If it's a better movie, it'll be exciting to me. No. Okay. Am I got anything else to add? Mm, no, before we go trying to think. No. Right. Deadpool was a Look, big real game. quick. Let's get. Let's just. Let's do some numbers real quick. Deadpool took eleven years to make. Mm-hmm. Uh, really? Yeah. Wow. Uh, they, no, they they trash shit canned this movie. Oh well, I mean, but like once they start, it only took like because it was year right after actually Origins Wolverine. They, they start talking. Got about got the yeah. Green light. Right. Uh, they they did the uh, the test footage. It sat on a shelf for four years. Uh, the and guy which, even said, said, who do I got to blow to get this greenlit? And they're like, well, we love your passion, but Ryan Studios Reynolds don't know Ryan Reynolds has said he is 70% positive he did not leak that test footage. <laughs> 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 but I love Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> Man, I did not love, I didn't. I had I didn't care about Ryan Reynolds one way or the other, but now I'm a big, I'm a fan. I totally have sex with him. He, he's, uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm on board. But, I'm not um, usually very gay, but I would have sex with Ryan Reynolds. He's so awesome. <laughs> but they they have said it was because of the pressure of the fan base. Good. And what if this got oh, me in the Oh the fans. And made look you how they've some, been rewarded. They twisted now, hold your up. arm and you have a hundred and thirty five million dollar opening weekend. <laughs> well hold up. More than that. Hold up. It was, like it was made with five or with the fifty eight million. That's Holy nothing these shit, days. Shit, wow. that is a return on investment. They called they it called really Ant Man like the cheaper Marvel movie, oh. and it was one hundred and thirty million to make. Wow. Okay. Fifty eight million for this. The, the, that looks good. Million. For Fifty eight million. The, the the studio expected sixty five million. <laughs> Holy opening weekend. shit! It has made okay highest R rating ever. Uh, opening that, weekend. Uh, what did it beat out? Hot Tub Time Machine? Or? No, uh, Matrix Reloaded. Jaws. Oh, really? I yes. No, what? Highest Jaws the Hangover is, is what I'm thinking of. That was that, right? highest grossing okay. rated comedy. Highest February opening yeah. of all time. Yeah. Uh, in the three day weekend, uh, uh, say a three day weekend, it made 135 million. Hmm. Counting today, the holiday, they're expecting it to be 150. Hmm. If it makes 150, the the only movies, superhero movies, to beat it mm-hmm. opening weekend is in this order. Avengers, Dark Knight, Age of Ultron, Dark Knight Rises, Iron Man 3, and Spider-Man 3. I was going to say Spider-Man 3 the only be ones to beat it opening Spider-Man, weekend. Despite all the shit Spider-Man 3 took, it was the highest grossing of the yeah. three movies. Which is sad because it's the worst. Okay. 
R rating. You boys saw it. They pushed this thing. Oh yeah. no, it deserved that R rating. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I loved it. I, the, oh, there's no they. And it feels like they fought for that R rating. It, yes. Like, like yeah. they, I think they argued in front of the board to get it down to an R from an NC-17 sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Because oh, it was so. There, there, there are some scenes if it was a slightly different camera angle, it'd be NC seventeen. Yeah. I'm actually surprised we didn't see that. To be honest. Now, are we doing spoilers here? Yeah. yeah. Might as well do okay. it. Spoilers. Spoilers. Okay. Spoilers. 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 If you okay. have not seen Deadpool, turn this right. off. Go to the theater. Make this a hundred and fifty <laughs> million dollar weekend. Watch it. Well, by the well, time this comes this, out, yeah. yeah. Uh, and come back. And then right. listen to this. So that's okay. a review, review portion. Yeah, that's a review. Yeah, go see it. Excellent movie. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Right. Totally this, this, big thumbs you might up. You not want to bring your children. You know, you know how disappointed I was in Star Wars? Exact fucking opposite reaction from this, Deadpool. This yeah. is what happens when you take you let fans make it. Yeah. With that's, people who enjoy the medium. I this know, isn't, right? Yes. And they stay true to the material. Exactly. exactly. Nothing worries me more. Then when you have a director or an actor go, well, you know, I never read comics as a kid, so I had to read up on this guy. No, none of these, char- none of these guys the com- did that. They're like, we know this character. We love this character. I just got the directing yeah. job of the next superhero movie. I better get to the comic book store. <laughs> Nothing breaks my heart more than when they do an Incredible Hulk movie and someone goes, well, I love the Lou Ferrigno mm. <laughs> TV show. And you're like, oh, God. You know, or, uh, or yeah. I really enjoyed Adam West as Batman oh, as shit. a kid. Yeah. I, that, <laughs> Thanks, Schumacher. Now, think, yeah. Here's the problem. Here's the lesson I took away from this. Mm-hmm. Listen to the fans. Yes. Give the fans what they want. They will reward you if you do that. Yeah. Do you think this is the lesson that the studios will take away from No. You? Have no. you seen this thing that James Gunn yes. was talking about? How it's like, yeah, no, it's because it was raunchy and it was making fun of itself. Do you think Marvel make fun of itself? Woo, woo, bang, bang. Oh, yeah. You're like, no, that's not what the lesson you you take away from Deadpool is right, and, and you're don't I have I hate you're don't I have executives going. I knew this was going to be a great movie. No, they I didn't. knew we put this. They in good put hands. no right. faith in it. They no. gave it fifty eight million dollars and stuck it in February. Yeah, they, yeah. they sent They're, it there to die. Yeah, yeah. This was shut the fuck up. You know, we know what, and we know better than you. We're going to show you, and this shows mm-hmm. the difference between what fans want and get, and what executives think you want with Fantastic. Oh War. shit! Yeah, yeah. no. Perfect example of the okay. disconnect there. From the beat. If they made Fantastic Four <laughs> as faithful as Deadpool was, it would have been a much better movie. From the beginning, fun, the though. opening credits made you laugh. Right. Oh, and shit. it was just words. Yeah. I know. I couldn't <laughs> believe it. I was like, holy shit, they're really... At first I thought... Some douchebag film. I thought, is that the name of his company? And then I was like, and then starring some asshole. What the? <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh no, what, we're God's doing the whole perfect idiot. Like I think yeah. what it said or something. Like yeah, that. also starring a CGI character. Yeah, yeah. I know, an English bad guy. <laughs> yeah. 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 I was like, yeah. this is brilliant. Yeah, <laughs> the writers, the true heroes of this piece. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which is true. <laughs> and it what I mean, just from the beginning, and you knew. Psh, I was like, you're off oh, to, they set the tone. Right off the bat, yeah, and then we cut right into the scene with in the that we see. My one of my big complaints about this is they show too much in the trailer. I wish I hadn't oh, seen. Yes, stuff. you did yeah. see most of it in the. Some tra- of this stuff would have been so much funnier had it been the first time I right. saw. Right, most of what you missed in the, what you didn't get in the trailer was mostly the love and backstory. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You could probably Which splice most stuff. of the trailers it's together all. and get all the action stuff with this. Right, all this pretty much. And the jokes. Action, the, I actually cared about his love story. Yeah. Oh, you know yes. what? Though? His love story is with an ex-hooker. That was something I like. came out of that movie like, that was the best like love romance st- I've ever <laughs> seen in a superhero movie. It's and so the best realistic. origin story. I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, I was like, this is such a good relationship. Like the torture, like his ordeal, how he became, that was actually like horrific and like kind yeah. of like oh, yeah. wrench It was like visceral. I was like, scared what they were going to do to him next. <laughs> yeah. Like, it, and I, I don't know that I've ever had that like honest of a reaction to like a superhero it was so movie like so in both fun. of those ways it like actually had range you know i was talking last week about you know being concerned that it was just going to be wackiness overload you know it's just going to be wise cracks and people you know getting shot and heads chopped off for an hour and a half and i was gonna be like okay kind of get it 
but they it oh, like no. actually had no it has a real story meat. You know, like it was, yeah. It was. It, there's a story about a guy who he just he found what he wants in life, and now he just wants to hold on to it, yeah. and it's getting taken away from mm-hmm. him. Yeah. And so he will try anything to stay with this woman, and I'm like, I was like, that's great. This is so. Oh. This is so good. Yeah. Right. And well, like you said, and I mean, they didn't. I don't know. The the, the chemistry, like, yes. it was amazing between the two of them. Even though, if on paper. It's like, yeah, it's a, a, a low-life mercenary guy, and a, uh, a prostitute, yeah. you know, playing skee-ball. <laughs> you know, it's like, okay. But, yeah, you, like, actually cared about these this relationship and these oh, characters. Oh, he brings up all the like, tickets. I want the Voltron Defender of the Universe. Right? Yeah. I was like. They give you five so... tickets left, and she goes, I'll take the eraser. <laughs> yeah, the best, yeah. You know what I loved about this movie? I got every single <laughs> joke. Right. Because you're I an like, old I person. I knew there were people in this audience that were too old and didn't understand, and right. there were people that were too young. Me, I am so in the sweet okay. spot. Right. You, right, you brought right. up too young. Mm-hmm. When you went, who were the youngest people you saw? Oh, I, there were some young. I don't, I'm really bad at judging ages, but there mm-hmm. were some like. Like young teen, maybe well, there was a kid who said, like, "Okay, you're a bad kids. mother. You took your 14 year old son to this." I heard somebody say that in the yeah. theater. <laughs> okay, and uh, what would you say? Same? Yeah, I'd say 14, okay, 12. This is about this is hypocrisy. Okay, I understand. Our if you're under 17, you can't get in. As we're walking out, a couple's walking out. We're walking in. They're walking out. Guy's wearing a Deadpool shirt. He's mad. He's spitting on the ground. Clearly a fan. Clearly 17. Can't get in with his girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Would have well, enjoyed the fuck out of this movie. We sit down. We see two to three, mm. I would say 12 to 15-year-olds. Mm. They're with their moms, not with their dads. Their <laughs> mothers brought them to this movie. <laughs> I, would, I would want to see this movie with my mom, and I'm 36. <laughs> The worst example, a guy walks in, he's got two little girls, probably five and seven. Oh, wow. To watch this movie. Let's go see Ryan Reynolds' penis. <laughs> you only girls. saw it for a second. Twice. I know, I know. Twice. I know, and, but it was only, yeah. I was expecting him to just be like, yeah, there it right, is. I, and well, then it's like, no, you can barely, and he's like all Deadpooled up at that Well, point. luckily, one of the mothers and sons was sitting like, you know, catty corner from us, in front of us. So every time a scene come up, I looked over there, and you saw the mom look at the son, <laughs> and the son kept going, getting lower in the seat. <laughs> yeah, I should have killed my mom uh, in this movie. Yeah, you know that I I read some reviews before we went, and and it was interesting. I, on IMDb, it got an eight point eight out of ten. Yeah. The Metacritic score though was like sixty or was like six point five, because and and when you read the negative reviews. It's like these people just watched the trailer and like wrote like what they imagined this movie was going to be. <laughs> it, it like they, it was ridiculous. Like they were talking about like, you know, full frontal nudity. Like I think so? you know there are like rumors and stuff, but yeah, like they were they were, yeah I don't know. It was we don't want to waste our time was, seeing this movie, so we're well, just anybody, and, and you you see very little dick, and it's yeah. Ryan Reynolds' dick, so it's yeah. a, uh, of course it's luscious, it may have so, even been whatever. CGI. You know. I, no, yeah, no, I it's him. Were, and, and, it's him. Yeah, I was like, I was not even telling you that wasn't some guy in a bodysuit, and it wasn't really him. And on most people... Because there was oh. fire at that point, yeah. too. Well, yeah. On most people's TVs, when they get this, they will not see it. I mean, yeah, no. You, had you barely saw, saw it. it on, yeah, yeah. And it was a very dark scene, too. Yeah. Right. And it was in shadow. Like, yeah. I can't tell you if he's circumcised or not. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, but the first movie I've ever seen that X-Men actually looked like X-Men. Yes, I know, right? Too. It, it, Colossus someone, right? someone said, even in the X-Men movies, it's more the Wolverine movies and the X-Men are in his shadow. Yeah. It's like, what is, what's Wolverine going to do this time? Right. And it's all around him and the X-Men are just there. Yeah. This is, hey, we're now, one of the things I thought was Colossus in the comics is silver. Mm-hmm. We've seen Colossus Silver. It doesn't work. He almost looks like Iceman. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. It does not work. Because he's all, ooh, I'm reflective and stuff. Yeah, and it, it doesn't just work. just doesn't work. This was great. Oh, uh, it was awesome. Yeah. yeah. He looks I, like this, stainless I want this. Colo- yeah. And you know, Colossus like... is one of my favorite X-Men. So it's like <laughs> uh, him and Nightcrawler. I just, it, uh, and this was like, I'm like, holy shit. If he was wearing red and yellow, I think this dude oh, yeah. walked right off the page. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. And then the well, and the girl, uh, whatever her uh, name was, Nega, Nega Sonic, Nega Teenage, Sonic Teenage, Teenage Warhead. Warhead. Yeah, like she had like a little color in her costume. Yeah, like it was black. Yellow. It was yellow and, and black. Blue, black. Black. Or I'm blue, not familiar with blue. that character at all. Uh, I've never heard. It, of it. It's they use the name. Yeah, 
they used the name from another character and just made one up whole cloth okay. for the most part. She, you know what? Her powers remind me of Cannonball. Yeah. That she was a lot like Cannonball. Cannonball. But uh, it was, they show up, and he, Colossus was the great straight man. Oh, my yeah. gosh. And they're in and the whole movie. It's not a cameo. They're pretty right. much in the whole movie. Right. Yeah. I love <laughs> the structure so of the movie, actually, too. <laughs> yeah, no, it's that was really, really good. Yeah, I loved it. That Yeah, it was just... I don't know. It, yeah, there's something that was very satisfying about that, like action sequence, and then like, you know, internal monologue, which you mm-hmm. get a lot. Yeah. But then it like becomes Breaking this the fourth extended wall flashback. Too. Oh yeah. And then it like brings you right back to that moment, <laughs> which I I love. I don't know that. I, it's, yeah, it's usually a mid action moment. Yeah. Cause yeah. He's like, yeah. And he's what I love thrown is across the... he's talking to us, the audience, so he's catching us up well, on how yeah, we got to right. this point. Yeah. One of, and one... I love that. Some of the best. Okay. This. <laughs> This scene, yes, first 15, 20 minutes, got some of the best stuff in it. Uh, Deadpool versus Colossus. Mm-hmm. Oh, Colossus just stands oh, there. Oh, yeah. I was oh, dying. Man. I was almost so pissed my pants. Now, I was laughing Now, so how hard. it starts, Deadpool has his man. He's He's got him, like, the swords through him, and he's stuck to, like, what, uh, uh, the, the, the highway. Side the yeah, yeah, the side of a highway over. Deadpool is down on the ground. He pulls his arm back, hits Colossus, reaches back, touches Colossus's junk, and goes, Dad? <laughs> what I love is when after he's broke his first arm. Oh, yeah, yeah he, he hits him. He kicks, he punches him in the nuts and breaks his other hand on Colossus's dick. Yeah. And then he goes, oh, your poor wife. I will never forget that till I die. He turns I around. I fell on the floor. And turns around, so looks at the camera. He's got his hands up and they're like dangling. <laughs> he's like, lumpy. all dinosaurs are terrified of the, the horrible Tyrannosaurus <laughs> rat. Tries to kick him, breaks yes, his yeah, leg. It breaks his leg it, it's, it's definitely the and Monty Python yes, Black Knight so scene. Great. Ever, I guess when he says something about it, I guess you'll see how much an hat, uh, a one legged man can kick an ass. <laughs> yeah, have you ever heard about that? Yeah. yeah. I was, and when he, when that guy gets away, and he gets, he gets away, and he's like, he turns around and looks, and he says, and he keeps doing the double take. <laughs> yeah. I was about and to die. you saw that, that was like one of the moments where his mask was animated. Like, yeah. his eyes <laughs> widened. Like, that was a great moment. Like, yeah, they, they. Oh, I want to go see this movie again now. Yeah. Forget Some of the, it. Like, this, this is, is like the best CGI. This hey, is like maybe the best Have you guys ever seen 127 seen. hours? Spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, <laughs> that was so yeah. Oh man. Yeah, I loved yeah that they didn't shy away from it. Like, oh, oh yeah. yeah. You're going to feel this. And what I, the best part of that thing is after he pulls, he picks up and he's like, what are you doing? Okay. He, he finishes the he, cut, he cuts, cuts off, he jumps off the bridge. Off. Yeah. Colossus has handcuffed himself to Deadpool. They're dragging him to the jet where Colossus says, I'm going to take you to see the professor. And Deadpool says, <laughs> Stuart or McAvoy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Continuity is, is I, so confusing. I, I, it was, I was, I was dying. So he whips out a knife, starts cutting off his own hand. Breaks free, jumps over the side of the overpass yeah, into a garbage he truck. Into garbage yeah. truck. Yeah. Colossus picks up the cuff and, and the hands flipping him off. off. Right. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. So he had to hold that pose as he cut his hand off. Well, speaking of garbage trucks, yeah. uh, the X Files episode was really oh. good this week. Oh, it too. was. It was. Yeah. They I've, really, I've I really enjoyed it. that one. Yeah. Except okay. no resolution to that. No? Yeah. Yeah. Um, we do another Sorry. flashback where he meets Vanessa. Um, oh, this is uh, the holidays. Yeah. Now, <laughs> oh man, you know what? Oh, I, I just want to say, like this, like have, seeing her in Gotham made. Yeah. I was almost like had forgotten how much I liked her in Firefly. <laughs> yeah. I love her in this. She's so good. Oh, she is. Oh, she's amazing. Uh, anyway, she he shows up too. real oh, quick. Yeah. Won't get into it. He shows up at this guy's apartment. And he says something about his cat. And he goes, "I don't have a cat." And he goes, "Well, then whose lair box did I just shit?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Right. Never mind. But um. Now he goes back to the bar. He does this job yeah, for somebody. It turns goes out that he like takes these like he's a merc and he like does these things, but he does it for like good. Like he's yeah. like the the bad guy that punishes the bad guys. Or yeah, something. Right. He, he goes after yeah. stalkers he and stuff like that. Like that but know. she's still paying like two hundred and seventy five dollars or something like that. Yeah. That's the cut he got. His buddy, they've got a thing running at the bar called the Deadpool. Mm-hmm. It's like who's doing a dine This is the bar with no name. They never call yeah. it that, but it's the it, well, bar. it's it's a uh, oh, oh, it's like Mrs. Francis's school, school for wayward, wayward girls, girls, which is yeah. not what it is. 
But you look up at the the they got it on you know, the chalkboard. It's like Charlie Sheen, Bill Cosby, <laughs> all the way down to Wade Wilson. Oh man, you bet on me to die. Yeah. Right. And that's uh, T.J. Miller. Yes, he's the guy. excellent. Awesome. You guys know him. I, oh yeah. I can't really place anything else I've seen. Him, you know but what? I, hear him I can't. Stuff. Transformers. He, yeah, oh, he was really? in Transformers Five. Yeah. Yeah. He is a voice on How to Train Your Dragon. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how I know him, but I know he's the name. Awesome. I know he's voices. like a yeah. He does a lot of voice acting because right. he's got a very distinctive voice. Yeah. Yeah. I, like I was, I when I heard he was going to be in it, I was like, I don't know that like. I don't know. I was happy to hear that. I know. I was happy, too. And he's amazing in this. Is, yeah, is perfect. He's, he's Weasel, right? Yeah, he's yeah, Weasel. Yeah. Which I kind of, they took, in the comics, Weasel's kind of like his tech guy. He's his okay. best buddy and his tech guy. In the bar, this bar, it's usually a, a midget old man <laughs> that Wade gives shit to. Because what is, you go in this bar and this is where you get your assignment. Right. And this old man. that it does here, too. Yeah, this old All man these guys are, doesn't take yeah. shit from this little midget old man. I kind of wish they would have put him in. But um, he meets Vanessa, mm-hmm. and you know he finds out she's a prostitute. He's, what what can that? He goes through. He's like two hundred and seventy five dollars. Get me. What was it, like forty five minutes? Oh, and, and he minutes, had a yo- was it a yogurt gift card? card. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and a yogurt gift and a non fat dessert. <laughs> forty eight minutes and a no. <laughs> but they go. They play ski ball, <laughs> right. that, which is the famous. It's time to put balls Ooh. in holes. Right. Which he does, he cheats, he throws them, he doesn't roll them. Yeah, you have to roll them, that's a cheat. I I appreciate, I mean, they're demonstrating that he has some abilities. He doesn't just become a super person when he gets these powers. Yeah, he gets skill. Yeah, they do a good job of setting up the fact that, you know, he can fight. And then they mention even later when he goes into this program that, you know, he's he got dishonorably discharged in the military, but he did a lot of stuff. Oh, you know, the okay, the Jacksonville thing. Yes. So the TGI is Fridays. This, okay. Is that is there? I mean, is there? Is I was like, is this an Ash versus the Evil Dead? <laughs> but uh, yeah. this would have been made before. Yeah, so nice. Yeah, they yeah. named it Jacksonville. <laughs> but I, I would have loved that crossover. But I don't. Oh, I, mean, I could have. I love. I no, would love that. But no. But now comics or anything. No. Like, but as soon as I hear thing. Jacksonville now, it's yeah. Ash. You know. Right. This leads I into would like to see that crossover. To be yeah, honest, right. This leads into the f- this date leads into the first scene when I get it in Blu-ray that I go, boys, cover your eyes and fast forward <laughs> it for five minutes. I love this scene. They have sex on every holiday, yeah. and they show this themed themed sex. Yes, my favorite is Halloween. That was so <laughs> funny with the teeth. <laughs> yeah. But this is one of the reasons it's an Ow, R-rated. No, <laughs> he's been you know you see him. He's on all oh, fours, man. and he's like uh uh. She leans over his shoulder and goes, <laughs> happy was it? Independent. International Women's Day. Yeah. <laughs> so they show from the back. She's wearing a strap on. She's yeah. behind him. Oh, yeah. And he's like, uh, no. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> that was so funny. I was laughing. Like, I was... Oh, my God. I think probably the first time I've seen uh, strap on sex with a man in a movie. Yeah, I can say that, too. <laughs> it's. I wish I could say that. Especially a superhero movie. Yeah, superhero movie, definitely. Yeah, but this... T- this, uh, or this just ex- pegging, I guess. tells you what exactly mean. what kind of a movie this is. I mean, it's... Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was funny. I, oh, it yeah, was. It was, it was hilarious. All right. Glad and I didn't take my 14-year-old sort of kid to see it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I don't have there. to explain that one. Yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah. But it leads up to the whole... Everything's oh, too good. Everything's good great. Yeah. Smearing mashed potatoes <laughs> all over each other. Right. You know, we get the scene that we talked about that was leaked, where they're at Christmas, and he asks her to marry. He's got the oh, ring yeah. pop up his ass. Well, yeah. that's hilarious because she was. I want you to stick it in my. That's now that we've seen International Women's Day. I think that's only fair. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised that he hadn't asked her that already. Well, well then, too. hey, he he knows how uncomfortable it is. He ain't yeah, asking. Right. <laughs> I'm just saying turnabout's fair play now. It's, that's true. But that's what she wanted, so. Mm. But he gets up to take a piss, and this is when he talks about everything's going great, so you know something's going to happen. Oh, now, shit. Now, I love Dude, it that his toilet, been... his toilet is right next to the bed. Yeah. There's no room. It's just a toilet. Yeah. Right there. No, it's not like it's a apartment. separate. Yeah, when he takes a crap, he's basically watching, sitting there looking at her on the bed. But that's not what he does. Hot. Yeah. He turns around and goes, uh, and falls over. Boy, did I identify with this. This is like, he's not kidding when he's like, when you, when you think stuff's going good, that's just the way of life and setting you up so it's easier to knock it out from underneath you. They go to the doctor, he finds out he's got cancer. Yeah, all over. Late of the lungs, brain, 
prostate. Prostate. I mean, he's got can. How do you get cancer in that many places? Mm. Well, Special just, forces. Was he like depleted uranium? Well, probably rounds. it's probably like a blood cancer, so it was in his system. I and guess it just was went. he like yeah. licking liver? asbestos oh, liver, or something? Liver. Well, they had to make it bad because in the comics, I don't think they ever said worries. It's just I got cancer. Mm-hmm. Not in this way. It's like there's no way to save him. There's no operation. There's no yeah, chemo. There's nothing. There's we can nothing do that's do done. Here. And yeah. uh, well, they made that clear. And I mean, and he's actually sad, and she's sad, yeah. and it's right. yeah, and it was poignant. I thought. and I oh, felt yeah. for them too. Right. I'm like, oh no, I don't want you to die because you guys are so good together, right. and you're just gonna get married. I ah oh, gosh. But in between the, the flashbacks, he had uh, he gets out of the garbage truck. Let me. Oh. He <laughs> fell in. He makes it to his house where he meets Al. Al. Yes. No, I would have. I wouldn't have mind roommate. a little more Al time. Yeah, yeah. She's, she was really she was fun. Underutilized. Yeah. 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 I like now, the, oh, we, we didn't do enough flashbacks. Um, he he goes to the Weapon X. He gets recruited. Oh. He goes to the the uh, the I don't know what now, they called is this it here. Weapon X. They never called it that. No, right. but and, it kind of is. Yeah, it's what it is. This is, is the same program that made Wolverine. Yes. Yeah. See, Weapon. It's kind of like um, it's been privatized. V though. for Vendetta. Remember, V's yeah. not really supposed to be V. It's five. It, his his door right, was number right. five. Okay. The Weapon X Project isn't Weapon Actually, this X. this is a lot like V for Vendetta yeah. right here. Yeah. Well, the Weapon X Project isn't X. It's 10. Mm-hmm. It's the 10th weapons program. Oh. Operation Rebirth would have been 11. Weapon 1. Oh. Captain America Captain was America the first. America was okay. Weapon I. Yeah. I, yeah. So they just keep trying. So this would be like 11 or 12. But in this universe... <laughs> It's a shady organization that's trying to make super soldiers to sell. Yeah. That's the whole thing. We don't turn you into a super slave. Maybe to the highest bidder. Who knows? Exactly. I think to the highest bidder. I think they even said something like that. Uh, Well, he was. That's that we first meet Francis. That's what he's doing. (laughs) Yeah. Um, They make Deadpool a mutant. Right. Because what it is is they give him a concoction of drugs that's supposed to... Unlock bring out, unlock any potential mutations. Yeah, like this is my only genes. problem I have with the plot right here. They said they could cure him. That's how they recruited him. How did they know that his mutant gene was going to be healing? They didn't. They, they just, hadn't. So right. they they had no. It did. Yeah. It it's activated his mutant gene, which was advanced healing, so that he did save him from the cancer. Right. But they didn't know that. Right. They didn't know what it was going to do when they injected him with that stuff. Right, and and also, yeah, I noticed also when they when he came back after he'd been in the uh, suffocation chamber thing. Yeah, uh, he's like, "You should be thanking me. I just saved your life. You're healing faster than as fast as the cancer cells can grow." Mm-hmm. And but how did he know that? He didn't. Like, I that, yeah, that was like a weird thing to just like know all of a sudden. That's my <laughs> only problem. But, yeah. Everything else is fine. Yeah. But they promised to cure him. They didn't know that it did. Right. They did cure him, but they didn't know, know that, that was going to happen. Yeah. yeah. I think. Well, I mean, and I kind of rationalize that. Just like, well, you know, he's an experiment. If he die, he's going to probably die now, anyway. Now, if they were all like, they may you know, be able like, to get some research value. If out they of were him. like, well, we're trying to replicate this Wolverine guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he has advanced. Or, or the stuff they're they're pumping into him says Weapon X or yeah, something. Something to, to yeah, something to just tie back that they're trying to recreate Wolverine's healing factor. factor. Yeah. Then then I would have bought it. That's now, all they had to do. What is they put him in a high? What is is they give him this stuff? It's supposed <clears> to unlock <throat> mutant potential, but they have to do stress. You right. got to be in a high stress. Trigger, they so they adrenaline. montage of them just torturing the shit out of him. Yeah. And finally, they put him in this chamber. That the worst would have been that ice bath. That's the one yeah. that got me. I think I could have taken everything else with that ice bath. Oh, I would, I would the have the oxygen chamber. That was pretty bath. bad. But the ice bath is the one I would have. If oh, they yeah. wanted information, I would have given it to him at that point. I hate the cold. <laughs> but but they put him in this this uh, this tube. That what it lowers the oxygen enough to where it almost starts stops his heart and then it will raise it and lower it and raise right. it. So where he's oh, just doing keeps he's him right over at and over suffocation. And over. Yeah, yeah, man. And yeah, Francis just, goes, "Have a good bad. weekend." <laughs> whoa, whoa, weekend! Yeah, they what? Left him in there yeah. for two days. He mutates and it does look horrible. I mean, you can look on his face; he knows he's fucked. Mm-hmm. Now, what gets me is he doesn't know how good his superpowers is. Mm-hmm. He steals a match. He, die. he steals yeah. a match. Lights it. So when the oxygen comes in, it blows up. I don't right. think he expected to live. Yeah. But he does. He fights Francis. He just wanted to take everybody with him when he did yeah. it. Yeah. This is where you see Ryan Journal Dick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For a very well, slight amount of time. Yes, yeah. but it's not a there. lot. No, it's not Dr. Manhattan. Too, no, it's, you're not. it's not every scene like, whoa, look at my dick. Yeah, it's not like CGI horse dick, but it's... 
Um, but the or, whole uh, thing. Well, the end. It wasn't huge, but it was healthy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. And it was cold in there, and he was all shriveled from. Yeah. It was. It was admirable. I, I you know, Brian Blake Lively's not hurting for anything, or maybe she is. Uh, the whole place hubba, hubba. falls down on him. He gets impaled. It burns. The whole place burns. Burns. Yeah. yeah. And it was sad because uh, one of the, the inmates that he had become yeah, he, friends yeah. with, he watches. He's impaled. He looks up. The guy's knocked over. He can't leave. They got to the table. Yeah. And, can't, yeah. and, and, and they burn together. And he catches fire and dies. Yeah. And then everything else just falls down around him. Yeah, and he climbs out of it. Uh, goes to Weasel. You see the whole scene in the trailer. Oh, yeah. You're ugly the, motherfucker. You look like Freddy Krueger face fucked at topographical map, map of Utah. Utah. Yeah. They didn't use the you look like the inside of other people's assholes. assholes. Which was my favorite. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds has said when the Blu-ray whatever comes out, there's going to be deleted scenes. It'll be the exact same scene with a dozen different jokes. Yeah. It's just now, was that just try him this, and T.J. Miller going at oh, it? Oh, probably. Yeah. And yeah. just let, let it go as long as we could. Uh, they yeah. come up with the name Deadpool from the, 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 the Deadpool. Deadpool. Yeah. It's going to be that, Captain that, Deadpool. No, no, just Deadpool. Because right. that was because T.J. Miller's like, oh, shit. No, I got to get back the money, money for the Deadpool. Yeah. His, his, so he decides he, his first outfit, he makes is all white. <laughs> So next thing you see, he's at the laundromat with the, what what they call them, the little erasers. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Which is so funny because it was covered in blood and he's just doing a little bit at a time. And you hear Al goes, hey, asshole. <laughs> Use, what is it, uh, soda and... Club soda and lemon juice? Yeah, something like that out to get out blood. I thought he said, I thought she said something like, uh, I thought he said that to somebody. No, well, no, no, no. He she said it says it first. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I thought she goes, if you're going to get blood, blood all over you, you might as well think, you might start thinking about wearing red. Yeah, or yeah. just wear red, asshole. Um, so then it kind of, um, you know, it goes back and forth a lot. The evolution of this costume makes sense. But what happens is he gets out of the garbage truck that he fell in earlier in the movie. He goes, I'm sorry for getting blood all over your garbage. Uh, club soda and lemon yeah, juice. Yeah, get that out. He goes, yeah, I've moved in with Al. He goes, yeah, that out. I mean, it, it, you know, when it goes to that scene again. At the, I love the, it that he's he sitting goes, there and he points. He goes, yeah, that out. Ooh, a fourth wall break within a fourth wall break is yeah. like sixteen walls. And then what I love here, he's all bitching because he can't. He got fu- now his hands already starting to regrow. Well, he's got like a little baby hand. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah. But we while we missed this one of those flashbacks. He was like rewinding the flashback, oh, and he right. stopped and he was masturbating. <laughs> and he was holding a unicorn while he did it. Okay, so this is the best thing is he's all pissed off, and Al's trying to build Ikea. She's blind. Yeah, right. And he keeps blind. falling apart. He, so he gets upset, and he walks into his room. What he does is he grabs the unicorn and the hand lotion, and he goes into his room and slams the door. And says, it's going to feel so huge in this hand. Right. <laughs> I, I, was, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> She goes, I can hear everything or something like that. Yeah. One of the bad disadvantages of being blind is your other senses are enhanced. Yeah, and he touched her chin with the little hand. <laughs> <laughs> it was, I was like, oh my God. And they're arguing about furniture. Yeah. It's oh, like, they a, have this whole well, I wanted to get the, furniture. yeah, I wanted to get this time. And he's like, no, we're not getting that. We're getting the armoire and the, you know. Right. Because it'd be stupid. To go in. And I love when she put it together. It was like backwards and shit. <laughs> <laughs> and <it's so> <laughs> <laughs> um, so he decides he needs help. He goes to the X-Mansion. Right. Get the X-Men. Right. Of course, he knocks on the door. Oh, teenage uh, uh, Sonic teenage, teenage Warhead War answers the door, and he goes, Ripley from Predator from Alien. <laughs> Alien 3. He keeps yeah. making jokes. He's like, hey, man, nothing compares to you. Sinead O'Connor, 1990. <laughs> She's like, you are so old. old. <laughs> She's like, well, Colossus is here. And he's like, yeah, this is a huge place. There's only like two of you here. It's like the studio couldn't afford more X-Men. Right. That was funny. Yeah. So I'll just stay out here. Because that's what we were all thinking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. When, when we, all we ever see like, is Colossus like, and Negasonic. And we're like, well, you're not going to get to see any other X-Men because I couldn't get any of them to come in. And he says it. <laughs> right. Now, what was the name of the cabbie? Like Umar or something like it. Who knows? Yeah. I can't remember. That was funny, too, he, though. Yeah, right. Funny. Okay. We see him in the trailer. Oh, hey, Mr. Deadpool. What's with the fancy red soup? Well, they talk about, he's like, hey, that's a nice looking girl you got there to picture. I was, oh, yes, but my my evil cousin, whoever. And he's much handsomer and charming. He, yes, he's as devious as he is handsome. He goes, oh, you got to fight for love. You, you know, Deadpool gives him advice. Well, they get the same cab. 
Well, he's tank. kind of on speed dial now. Yeah. yeah. It's, his guy. it's like his guy now. <laughs> you get um, uh, Colossus and, you know, uh, Negasonics in the back. Warhead. Deadpool's in the front, and they hit a they hit a speed bump, and you're, oh! Mar, what was that? Oh, my cousin. <laughs> I tied him up and put him in the trunk. And he goes, back, I did not tell him to do that. Immediately, because Colossus is this huge like, boy what? scout through the whole thing. He's right. always like, we need to use our powers for good and make people yeah. happy and all this other stuff. And it's but, like, but he's like, I did not tell him to do that. Hey, good job. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> now, what you need to do is you need to let him go. Kill him. <laughs> And then you go profess your love to your woman, kidnap her. <laughs> so they get out. Now it's, this is uh, the cabbie's oh. name is Dopinder, by the way. Dopinder. Oh, yes, we Dopinder. missed the scene where they loaded up the guns. Oh yeah. When he gets oh, up, we... because that's a hilarious thing. Because he gets out of the cab, and he's like, because he's gonna fight France. Now hold up. At the, the beginning of the they movie. get out of the cab. This is where the time to make the Chimmy fucking Changas reference. Yeah. They play the DMX music. You know, X don't wanna give it to you. Negasonic looks at him and goes, hey, where's your duffel bag? Right. <laughs> and, and next thing you know, it's in the cab. <laughs> He's like, son of a... <laughs> because he forgot it before. Yeah. That's, he did the gun, the bullet to count off because he's like... He's like Shit, I forgot my blow, my bag full of guns. Yeah. And so he's like, how many bullets at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Fuck. <laughs> Gotta do it with twelve. Yeah. And he does. He kills and he everybody but Francis with twelve. Yeah, but but he leaves it again. So he's got like you said, he's got the guy on sp- the the cabbie's got him on speed dial because it's like Mister Pool. Right. Yeah. And as as the as he goes to answer the phone, a garbage truck goes in front of him. The ca- he stops dead before the he hits the garbage truck. Someone rear ends him, <laughs> and, oh. and you hear his cousin yelling because in pain. This is where we and I mean that smashed Probably him. Yeah, dead. dead. Yeah. Um, we missed the point that they they uh, kidnapped Vanessa. Oh yeah, that's yeah, right. why that he's happens. going here. Yeah, yeah, he kidnapped uh, the that's bad guys. That's why he went and got the X Men to help him because he was going to be outnumbered. Yes, right. because he's tracking down Fran- Francis. Has taken the name Ajax. Francis is right. the guy who basically created him, tortured yes. him. And created him. So, and he's got a, a, a girl named Angel. Angel who's Dust. Super strong. Right. Now he now he She's made the comment like as strong as Colossus, apparently. apparently. Yeah. When when he gives Actually, us I think he might be a little stronger. When he gives this whole you no, know, your mutated cells will cure anything, but you know, your face is fucked up. I could cure that. So he mm-hmm. puts it in Deadpool's head, I can cure your face. Mm-hmm. So that's right. one reason Deadpool's trying to find him. Yeah. Oh yeah, and that's one thing that we didn't say oh. either. The whole like one of the things I, when he gets out, he feels he's too ugly to go back to, to his Vanessa. beautiful girlfriend. Yeah, which I, I don't know that I don't know. He wasn't. I mean, he was bad. Yeah, but, but not like burn victim I've, bad. Yeah, I mean, I've seen, seen worse. That. Yeah, I've seen worse. Yeah, I really have. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But uh, they track Vanessa down to a strip club with Stanley as the yeah, DJ. DJ. And this is full frontal female nudity. Oh yes, in this one. Oh, then I swear you saw Vanessa on when she. I don't the first think you scene, never did. She's on top. I swear. I, 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 I can remember like, her in the boot. I think there was like a f- moment, like you right saw her at the boobs. beginning, and then they covered. But yeah, uh, yeah. But you know, so Stan Lee's like, and next up is Julian. Oh, that was wrong. Let's do another take. <laughs> he stretched oh, that damn, bitch. Out. Is, yeah. Oh no. Leave me in Yeah, it's real fucking hard being Stan Lee. It's, uh... <laughs> Stan Lee has said this is his most favorite cameo ever. <laughs> <laughs> but Francis or, uh, Francis gets Vanessa outside, kidnaps Kidnapper. her, Deadpool's got to go Deadpool goes him. to the x right. get... And I thought that was actually a well done. I like that scene, the, the way that he, he chickens out, goes to the bathroom. They kind of set it up, you know, uh, you know, he's going to talk to her, but he's afraid. And, yeah. Yeah. He, he hesitates, and that's what allows her to get kidnapped. kidnapped so now yeah. he's actually like he's actually responsible because she thinks for it's him. Kidnapping. Yeah, yeah. And, and, it's, and Ajax was a nice got touch. her and says, "Yeah, your boyfriend's after me." Yeah, he goes, "Your boyfriend's after me." She says, "Oh, asshole, my boyfriend's dead." So, well, so I thought so too, <laughs> but but uh, hey, Deadpool. They they show up. They do the whole angel uh, superhero jump or superhero landing, oh, yeah, superhero funny. landing. And he gives, he goes, hey, hey, hold up, hold up. All you guys are just hired guns. I don't want to have to kill you just yeah. to get to Francis. I'm letting you. They open fire, and he's like, well, fuck it, got to do it. You know what I love is they get him and Negasonic Teenage Warhead get behind a car because they're not bulletproof. Yeah. yeah. Colossus is. He just walks forward. He's yeah. like, he's, look away. 
<laughs> Look away, child! He rips his whitey tighties out. <laughs> yeah, it's a flag. It a surrender flag. <laughs> to tell him, yeah, I don't want to have to kill you if I don't want to. Then he goes through them all, of and course. I when swear, they fire. I this is a helicarrier. Okay, it could be. I'll, I'll have to rewatch it. I, yeah, Candy asked me if there was any significance in that, and I was like, I don't know. At first, I thought it was a helicarry, but it didn't have the big rotors. Well, it's different. They yeah, look different. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, they couldn't copy it exactly because Marvel yeah. would come after them. Yeah. Now, They've if you guys caught it, but it did jokes, the, did occur to me that it might have been, but I didn't he, really think it. He was. gets down to the last henchman on the ground, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it's like there he goes. Wait. He goes, Bob? <laughs> they were in the same unit together in Jacksonville. Yeah, right. So Wade just knocks him out. Doesn't yeah, kill, him. kill him. Not Now, Bob is a comic book character. Bob used to work for Hydra. Hmm. And what happens is Deadpool has to infiltrate Hydra, runs into Bob. He's the one that, like, he makes him open all the key card doors and all this shit. Bob... Really, his wife made him join Super Villainy <laughs> for the for the life insurance or for the insurance. No. Went to Hydra and was disappointed that they didn't have the better dead old plan that AIM had. Uh, you know, kind uh, of thing. You, know, you got to compare that. With yeah. Him. Well, him and Deadpool end up more or less Deadpool's new sidekick. You know, always getting him in trouble or doing something stupid kind of shit. Well, we see, we can't use Hydra because... Yeah, yeah but, right. but they introduce Bob. So now they can use Bob later. He yeah. doesn't kill him. That reminds me, though, or, or are you going to talk more about Bob? Or no, go ahead. What? Uh, Booth. Who's Booth? Is he a significant? He's the he was the big like the big black guy in the bar that got beat up. Uh, not that I, he might I have been that, a side maybe character. He was a Who was that guy? I don't know. They made a point. No. It seemed like to like say, "Hey, Booth." Who was the hey, dude Booth, that was always you know, giving hey, Deadpool Wade. shit in the bar with no name? That was uh, T Ray. Yeah, T Ray. And not yeah, to make big, things like, more bearded, convoluted than they were. Biker guy. No, no. Guy? Well, T Ray. Was a merc, a but he had a big band aid over his nose, hmm. and they're all like, "Yeah, that's it. You know, highlight your weak spot. You know, <laughs> dumbass." T T Ray was Wade Wilson. Hmm. Long convoluted story. A merc goes to kill Wade Wilson. Is this one of those ones where his hand regrows a new? No, no, no. <laughs> uh, thinks he wipes him out. Then he's in an accident. Doesn't remember who he is, so he adopts the identity of Wade Wilson. When the what, real Wade Wilson's still alive, and he's you know decided to, to get revenge on Deadpool, I think they've wiped that out since then. That's I don't stupid. know. Yeah, it was stupid stuff. But um, uh, teenage uh, what was it Negasonic uh, teenage, teenage warhead. warhead has him jump on some metal. She gets underneath, does the blast yeah. thing. He flies up. She really Which reminds a me funny. of Cannonball. Yeah. Oh, and this whole time Colossus is fighting with Angel. Oh us. yes, Angel. Yeah. They're just knocking each other. Oh, they're kicking now, she each gets, other's ass. She gets knocked. Now this was like one of the only females in this movie that had a problem with full frontal nudity, because she gets out of some rubble and he's like, whoa, 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 and he's like, yeah, his hands cover where her boob came. Yeah, her boob came yeah, out. Right. And he's looking away. And you know what I love? This shows how strong she is because she punches him in the gut, in the nuts, <laughs> and he actually <laughs> felt it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. And then she hits him in the nuts. <laughs> so now here's the thing. Here's what I told Matt this. It bothered me. One of the few, very few things in this movie that bothered me. Yeah. Like we be in his, you never see Colossus out of his still form. Right. When he is in his still form, he doesn't need to eat, drink, breathe. Mm-hmm. The first scene we see him in, he's eating cereal. Right. When he's fighting Angel Dust, she gets this cable and is choking him out. Mm-hmm. She's strangling him. He doesn't need to breathe. <laughs> so, hmm. yeah, but, I Candy and I we were talking about this because he also he doesn't have. I mean, unless something has changed, he can go from human to yes, colossus form he wants. And whenever he wants. But the so pro- he could have made that ca- cab ride a lot easier by right. not being. But like eating the cereal, times. they just wanted the gags, the visual gags. Yeah, but right? they'd I mean, have to find someone that looked like. You know what I mean? That then they'd go with what what they did is they got a big guy to do the CGI suit. They didn't. They used his voice. They didn't have to. You know, get somebody that looked like Colossus. Mm-hmm. So they just full CGI character. I, don't know. I loved him though. He was, yeah, I loved Colossus. It was, oh yeah, it was good. I want to see him in an X Men movie now at some point. It's well, we've um, seen him. We I know, see the but big, I mean, like as a part as a of the X team guy. Uh, no, I don't. That's not good. <laughs> um, the big fight with Francis. Now Francis is super power. Oh, he, you hear this? Hey, hey! Francis looks over the side. Deadpool had spelled out. He hates his name. Yeah. That's why he uses Ajax. I'm Ajax. 
He hates his name Francis. Looks over the side. Deadpool has spelled out Francis with all the dead bodies. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's it calls back because Ajax, is, he's got Vanessa, and he's hanging over the edge of that helicarrier, and he's like, what's my fucking name? And he's like, I'm going to spell it out for you. And he does, his dead bodies. <laughs> right. But gets up there the big fight. Now Ajax's main power is he can't. He's super strong. You know, and can't feel human. pain and advanced reflexes. Yeah. yeah. So it, it's a fight. But he can't heal. No, because right. he had to get sewn up. The whole, the whole, the the battleship helicarrier topples over. That's how I knew it was a helicarrier because yeah. you could see the engine okay. on the side when it started. Oh, to really? Tip. Okay, I didn't. Uh, uh, Vanessa is saved because Deadpool put her in the the. The oxygen chamber. Yeah, see, suffocation he had yeah, that whatever. there to torture Vanessa. He put her in there and Deadpool. Right. Well, they're still quick. making super guy, you know, super guys. They just right. had one available. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was hoping that yeah, he uh, they were going to reveal like that was going to be the stress like that they had turned her, her and, and she her would stuff, turn the immune, yeah, because yeah. yeah. she is a what, mutant. What's, yeah, what's the character? Copycat. 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 Yeah, yeah, but uh, well, it was because he fought in advanced on the. That's the guy that he's like. Hey, he just I just this I thought this was a superhero movie, but he just turned that guy into a fucking Jimmy John guy. <laughs> yeah. No a kebab. Oh, a kebab. That's he's turned right. that guy into right. a fucking kebab. And and they did the add, I, you know that the uh, but that guy was advanced because the bullet didn't. Bounced off his skull. Right. Yeah, or he pulled it out. Yeah. No, he pulled it, it out of his like skin. His yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah, but it didn't go in. It was stuck yeah. there. So yeah. That means it, it went through his skin, but didn't. No, what his they skull. took out of the trailer. In one trailer, you see where he gets shot up the butt. Oh, yeah. up Main Street. Right up Main Street. In the scene where he goes, well, I've got to take you back to you know before I squeed this this ass into this, this red spandex. There is the bullet hole, and it's smoking. <laughs> right up his butt. <laughs> right up his butt. But anyway, I love the scene when he's with the guns and he's. <laughs> yeah, he, he inhales the smoke, gun smoke up in his nose, and then exhales it through his mouth. I'm like, oh my gosh, you were so badass. <laughs> that was a great moment. Yeah, it was. Instead of blowing the smoke off, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. But, he, it's like he's no. getting high off the gun smoke. <laughs> it's great. But uh, uh, they they find Vanessa. They find you know Wade Wilson. And all of a sudden, does he get shot? I can't remember. I think he shoots him or shoots at him. Ajax is still. He's tumbling down. Right. Somehow Ajax goes off the edge. Yeah, somehow he survives. And they all fall off the edge well, and Colossus. Well, see, there's all that, that moment also where Ajax stabs him in the head. Like, oh, all that the was great. Yeah. <laughs> you asshole. Funny. I love it. They're in the middle of a fight and he's like seeing cartoon things yeah. and he makes a little love symbol at her and then he puts his finger as a circle and his fingers through the yeah, other He's looking hole. at Vanessa and Vanessa's, whole, it's all in slow motion. Like, you asshole. <laughs> He pulls the knife out and everything goes back to normal. Yeah. But um, uh, Ajax is still alive. Deadpool kicks his ass. He says, you're going to fix my fucking face. He goes, There's, I can't fix your face. He goes, why would you tell me something that's the only thing that's keeping you alive? Yeah. Well, yeah. Right. Pulls his gun. Colossus goes into his big, we are heroes, and there are four or five there moments. There will be one moment. Everybody no, there's you only have to be hero all only, the time. You wake up hero. You brush your teeth hero. You know, it's like, but it is one moment. No, it's only four or five moments in your life. That you be hero. <laughs> and this may be that moment. And <laughs> Deadpool just goes, bang! bang. He's, what? Did, why? And he immediately vomits. Yeah. <laughs> why, why did you do that? You were just droning on and on. <laughs> and call, he vomits twice. <laughs> Which is hilarious because he's in his steel form. form. Right. Yeah, he shouldn't be. be able to you know what? Yeah. And the, it actually looked like he was puking out. I think like like mercury, like no. silver it was liquid. Weird green. Yeah, it was I thought green. it was green. green? Was okay, I don't know. I, what? So that looks like a lot of mucus. I don't know what Colossus was eating. <laughs> right. So so it's Deadpool and Vanessa, and he kind of tells her what's under this mask isn't pretty. You know. So she takes the mask off. He has stapled to his face. <laughs> A Which picture of Hugh Jackman. whole fight with that statement <laughs> of Hugh Jackman. <laughs> goes, What's under this isn't pretty either. So she pulls it off. He's got one staple in his chin. Yeah. And I love that her reaction at first is like, nah. goes, yeah. She goes, well, well, maybe after a lot of drinks yeah. and it's really dark. Yeah, I love it. It's like, yeah. That, that is a face I would sit on. That was the best. I, was like, I was like, that's so romantic. <laughs> And then he pulls out his phone, careless whisper. whisper. He has his thing for wham. wham. Yeah. I did not know that was a Wham song. It was, yeah. 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 This is the album where they got the exclamation point. <laughs> yeah, they deserve yeah, they that exclamation. I actually have that album, too. 
The whole know. the whole soundtrack to this movie was it's good. great. There is a uh, it's on YouTube the where he's going through the he's making his costumes and hunting down Francis and it's like Deadpool sexy motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Captain Deadpool. No, just Deadpool sexy motherfucker. Oh, the Deadpool rap. Yeah. yeah, Deadpool rap. Uh, I saw that in BMX, the Wham. Oh, what was the Salt one? Salt and Pepper. Salt and Pepper. What was the song at the beginning? He's that they're. Uh, oh, um. Oh, uh, was it Captain and Tennille? What? Yes. It was uh, my morning angel or morning yeah. angel. Yeah. Yeah. My morning, morning angel. Oh yeah. In the morning. morning. Yeah, it's Abba. I think. Yeah, right? it's Abba. I think it's Abba or Abba just or. Just call Ka- me angel. Yeah, just call me angel. Angel of the morning. So I yeah, mean. That one. Beginning to end, uh, cut, cut oh, scene. Yeah. Uh, the yeah. the after, after credit scenes. Oh, okay. I want to talk about. Okay, this. hold up, hold up. Credit scenes. That's going through the credits. Oh, there is an great. animated Little Deadpool. Yeah, I loved it. Really... My, I was like, oh look, oh they make a Spider Man joke. Yeah, and he yeah. does. He's got boners. The best one was when he's on the unicorn and he starts he, yeah. jacking the unicorn's <laughs> horn off, and it it shoots out shoots rainbows, rainbows and then and shits, shits money. money. <laughs> That's a re- that's how they work. I'm like, holy crap! <laughs> but the cut scene is the right out of the end. Yeah, the this I was like, okay, I'm watching the credits. I'm like, I'm waiting for the after credit scene. It's like, better be something tied into Age of Apocalypse. And I was like, nope, no. Oh <laughs> shit, they aren't gonna do that, are they? No, they wouldn't do that. Would they? <laughs> and then as soon as I saw the hallway, I started laughing so hard. Every, the whole rest of the, the, the theater, silent. One asshole up there at the top of the thing. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> first Bueller. Yeah. Probably the first, probably After mid-credit credit scene ever. ever. Right, yeah. Yeah, I think. Uh, We've made reference to this before yeah. in the podcast. You're still yeah. here? Yeah. Go home. It's Movie's over. over. Right. <laughs> what? What? You you think we're going to tell you about Deadpool 2? We ain't got budget for that. What? You think Samuel Jackson going to show up with an iPad? <laughs> yeah, I know. It was, I was like, as soon as I saw the hallway, I was like, yes. <laughs> Holy shit, yes. But then you only get a little bit more credits, and then he comes back. Yeah. Same hallway. He goes, okay, I'll tell you. Cable is going to be in Deadpool 2. Which we do have that someone, I love it when people go, I want that role. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. What is this guy? I don't he actually kind of looks like him a little bit. Uh, Stephen Lang from Avatar. He was the bad guy in Avatar. Mm-hmm. Supposedly wants to be Cable. He kind of does it look like work. him. I mean, especially I you put it. the big padded stuff on him. Mm-hmm. He could he could pull it off. So, oh. is that going to be? Are they going to do Deadpool and X Force? You know and, what? I just I just was looking at Facebook. Here's a post. I don't know if this is new news. They're considering an X Force movie with an R rating. Well, yeah, the success of Deadpool. Well, it's got to be you got to have the same writers, same director. Yes, yeah. you've got to. You can't just think I'm going to do an R-rated superhero movie and think it's going to be as successful as this one. Yeah, you, no, that's not going to work. If they're smart, it'll right. be it'll be Cable and Deadpool in the next one, and then after Deadpool two, will be X Force with Deadpool in it. Mm-hmm. Now, someone I, I I read where someone said it, they can put it, they can't go back. Deadpool's done R. It's great. There's no way they can be a, do a PG-13 Deadpool movie. No, now. they can't right. do a it's non-R-rated be rated PG-13 Now, they said, uh, now. The, and they could put him in X-Men movies. Mm-hmm. They said the only way that would work, though, is if he's the only one that gets to break the fourth wall. Mm-hmm. And he knows. He knows what we know. So I was like, what the? Beep, beep, yeah, beep. That, wait, wait, wait a minute. Oh, what? Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Why am I like, beep, beep? I can't would, say beep. It beep. would be like... Uh, and Scott Pilgrim versus yeah. the Wasteland, where she's like, "What the beep?" And he's like, "How do you keep doing that with your mouth?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, "Wait, what?" That would be yes. That's the only way that would work. If that and if they do it, it would be great. Yeah, I you know. Think, I think or every time he kills somebody, commit. it's off camera, and he's like, "Didn't you guys see that? <laughs> that was I the coolest like, shit ever, <laughs> dude! I that cut that dude beep. in half. That was the coolest beep beep beep." There was blood <laughs> yeah. everywhere. Red blood, <laughs> not black blood. Yeah, which they did do uh, in, in the in the trailer when, when he's cutting his hand off. Colossus holds him up and it splatters on his face. Mm-hmm. It's, in the black. Trailer, it's black. It's the black. Oh, there's red. the money shot. <laughs> so, right. But I have not heard even the the no. worst review I've seen on YouTube is. 
Was I entertained? Absolutely. I, I, From beginning to end, I was. Would I go see it again? Probably not. One of the, you know, I don't need to go I see it again. What, but it, you know, I was totally in a movie slump. I went and saw Spectre, and I'm like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> I mean, that wasn't that bad, but it wasn't as good as Skyfall. And I wanted something as good or better than Skyfall, and it wasn't. And then I went and saw Star Wars, and I was just pissed. So I was like, <sighs> "So then I go into Deadpool. I needed this. This." Made me sore. <laughs> made me feel like I could fly. I'm watching movies I love again. Yes. It's so good. They I did. felt like when I walked out of Skyfall. I'm like, this is awesome. They when did. I walked out of Winter Soldier, I'm like, this is great. <laughs> they they didn't feel like they had to put him all in black or they had to make him moody or it had to it be was dark. It Deadpool. And here, here's the deal. Look at this. R-rated movie. Blood. Sex. Cursing. In broad daylight, mm -hmm. Batman Superman is ten times darker than this movie. Mm -hmm. And they have a kill count in this movie. <laughs> it's amazing. I kind of would have liked to have seen that in the corner. Like every once in a while in Deadpool would be like, Dee -dee! Be like <laughs> look at that. <laughs> oh, well, actually, well, speaking of that, I really liked the... That first scene with the bullet count. Yeah, oh, that numbers was so on the back. great. Yeah, that was a great oh, little. It, it reminds me of um, who directed Shoot 'Em Up. Oh, um, I can't remember. You know, remember yeah. you know Shoot yeah, 'Em Up? Very, it reminded me of something that would be in that movie, right? Or like Crank or something. Oh like, yeah. yeah, it's like a real like a heightened. Shoot 'Em Up and, was a fun movie too. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, it, it really, I thought that was like one of those things that kind of gave you this little insight that this is a, you know, it's a, there's a surre surreal, 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 surrealism, let's say, let's say, yeah, there's something, you know, yeah, they kind of were establishing the reality that this thing, yeah. A surreality. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. Or, or what been cool. Matt Clemens, surreality. The only thing I'll probably that would would have been cooler than you know the the numbers on the bullets is like you said there's a bullet count at the bottom of the screen and after he shoots the guy like three times like looks at the counter and goes fuck <laughs> yeah. well he kind of did that right he yeah was he's like, like two three he's like six, six, stupid fuck, worth seven, it seven, <laughs> dumb dumb Deadpool totally worth it <laughs> yeah what he shot that. <laughs> But it, what was it? The, the opening scene where it's all it's it's a it's a frozen scene where the the the, the truck's flipping I know. and he's got the biker by the underwear. Yeah, <laughs> the right. I was like, oh, that was so good. I just everything about this movie is, I, I can't describe the experience, but it's oh, it's it, it it's so enjoyable. It's just, like it's, I said, you uh, can tell these people love love the stuff. They yeah. love the character. You know, this T.J. Miller, and he's like 53 years old or something really? like that. Really? Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. He's been waiting for his big break forever in Hollywood. Hmm. And he finally got it. And, man, did he – he pointed for the fences and knocked that <laughs> shit all the way out. Oh, yeah. I want yeah. him. I'm like, fuck Brian Singer. Let's see what this guy could do. <laughs> he respects the source material. Oh, yeah. Huh. Because you yeah, know what else what he else did? What else has he done? You know what else he did that was really awesome? You remember when they were doing Arkham City? Yeah. And there was an ad where it was just Bruce Wayne's face, and it goes through, like, happy Bruce Wayne, and his parents are killed, <laughs> and then it goes through all the life, and then the kids are beating him up at school, and it's just a, it's it's on his face. Hmm. And then it cuts, and then all of a sudden it's Batman, and he's kicking ass. And it was like, look that up. What? Um, <laughs> okay. What? There, there is a promo clip. We'll have to watch it later. It's the Deadpool scene where he's saving a cat from a tree. Oh, right. That oh, was I remember not... he handed it down. Yeah. Well, that... well, it starts off the kids looking up in the tree, and Deadpool steps in and goes, what's up? She's like, cat in the tree. He goes, oh. He pulls out his gun. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. He goes, oh, oh, here, hold these. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. What? Okay. Uh, you know the ad? Okay. No, no. Oh. Okay. You said T.J. Miller. That that oh, was the sorry. actor. It's, sorry, not T.J. Yeah. Miller. Tim Fuck. Miller. Tim Miller. And apparently he was also involved in Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Oh, that makes which sense. Is another one of my Sorry, favorites. you got me uh, screwed up with the T.J. Miller and the Tim Miller. I don't know what he did. Maybe visual effects. Yeah, he was a <laughs> creative supervisor of visual effects on Scott Pilgrim. So that makes a lot of sense because this one feels there's some Scott Pilgrim-y stuff going yeah, on in this. Yeah, that's... I'm, Happy to see there's a, a link there. Oh, yeah. Scott Pilgrim did, he did not it? get the due that it deserved. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was good. Oh, yeah, and Clover, did, would, uh, the trailer for the 10, 10 Cloverfield, Cloverfield Lane. I'm excited yeah. about that, too, man. I did not 
well, hate Cloverfield as much as everybody else, no, I think. I I liked it for what it was. It. I, it wasn't perfect. But, but this has Mary Elizabeth Winstead in it. That's and a big selling She point. is so freaking cute. Yeah. I mean, oh. yeah. I'm a big fan. Like, I didn't. I watched that Thing remake. Yeah. <laughs> and she was in it. And boy, was she the saving grace of that movie. I was like, oh, this isn't very good. Yeah. It was otherwise basically. Pretty. Because all the creatures, they they were CGI. I yes. can't. It's not nearly as gross and visceral. When I was walking in, I remember the original thing. Okay. Yeah. I'm like, oh, gosh. Well, so, you mean the the Kurt Russell no, one? No, not right? the thing from Another World. The Kurt Russell, Russell. the thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I kind of had to see this because I wasn't doing this podcast at the time, but I was doing like a comic. It was a uh, almost a horror host comic called Horror Harvest. I remember. Yeah, and we were doing that, and my the part my partner Gwen wanted to do this movie, so I had to go see it. So I kind of went against. My, I was going to wait for it on DVD because I remember watching the thing and being like, "Oh, gross!" Oh, blah, blah. <laughs> and so I don't want to do that in a theater. Okay. This one, because it's all CGI, I'm like, well, that looks fakey. Mm -hmm. So it's not nearly as visceral and, like, gross as yeah. that one was. And I was like, oh. I was like, okay. And I didn't have any problems with it whatsoever. I'm like, oh. and And to show you how much... Oh. Now, I don't know how trailers work. I don't know if the the the, the studio tells you what trailers to play in front of a movie. I don't know if the oh, theater picks. Oh, opportunity in front of this movie. X-Men oh. Origins was not in front of this movie. Yeah, X-Men Age of Apocalypse. Yeah, Age of Apocalypse. I'm sorry. Age of Apocalypse was not in front of this movie. Uh, Batman v Superman was not in front of this. I mean, and I know some of, most of them. Civil War Fox. was yeah. not in front of this movie. It was, yeah. And they all should have And there was, yeah. at one point, you know, usually during the trailers, I'm like, okay, any minute now the movie's going to start. Fourth or fifth trailer in, I get up and go to the bathroom. <laughs> I, have, I have no worry I'm going to miss anything. What do you guys think about this hardcore Harry? That's the one I got up and left. <laughs> I, I'm like, this looks stupid. I don't think this is a good idea at all. The first-person shooter, shooter look. Yeah, I'm curious. I like the fact that somebody's doing it, but I think it may be the last time that anybody. Yeah, does well, it. yeah. it has been done on a much smaller scale yeah. in Doom, the yeah. movie Doom, <laughs> yeah. with Carl Urban and the Rock. Right, but this actually, I'm, a, I, I think the the stunts in this, the first-person perspective. I think it's an You're interesting. You're gonna have a lot take. of people it's getting like, motion yes, sick. Yes, that's what I'm yeah. thinking. Like that's gonna be the big headline. Nobody can sit through this whole movie because they're just getting sick. But I don't know. It just it looks so like over the top and crazy. And it's got even like the logo. You know, it's it got like that '80s kind of. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I it just I seems like an unapologetic well. like stupid action movie that. No, I. Think I it, could, it could be really fun. I do like the title of this uh, um, article: Weekend Box Office. Fine, Ryan, Ryan, uh, Ryan Reynolds, you can have a superhero franchise. <laughs> <laughs> he tried. Yeah. Now, oh, I'll tell yeah. you that. The, there was that green, little Green uh, Lantern reference. There oh, there, there's a flashback where oh. they get back from the doctors, mm. and the first thing they zoom in on is it's a uh, what they call Baraka pool from Wolverine yeah. Origins. Mm -hmm. Toy. <laughs> that's when he throws. That's when the Wham first Wham reference. Yeah. He knocks right. it off to pull the Wham record you know. off. Right. And he's like, he goes, I'm going to come back from the dead, and I'm going to sit outside your window, and I'm going to play Careless Whisper. And how, about, how about you don't play, you know, yeah, when I come back, he goes, why don't you just not leave? Yeah. Right. Now, I've seen a lot of guys. What are you watching? Um, oh, okay. No. I was okay, trying to so find that. Bat the, this is a Tim Miller-directed Batman. Man, yeah, Art versus Deathstroke, yeah. Commercial? Um, or, yeah, but it doesn't. it's not the thing you're it's talking about. It's not the thing I'm We'll find it. And I have to agree with this. I've seen this a lot where someone goes, there's there's actors that were born to play roles. Tony Stark is Iron Man, or you know, or uh, sorry, uh, uh, Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. is Tony Stark. J.K. Yeah. Simmons as, as yeah. yes, Patrick Stewart as, as Professor X. X. Yeah. Uh, you know, Ryan Reynolds as De I think that, no one yeah. else can ever play Deadpool. He He's it. nailed it. Totally, yeah. yeah, He's and that's he his it. guy. He owned it because they let him own it. That's yes. the thing. There it's, was no. They gave him fifty eight million and said, "Just shoot this fucking thing and leave us alone. We don't want to hear about it." Yeah. The and worst. See thing, what happens. Yeah. <laughs> right. I wonder what he made on it, or if he Can't just is lot. getting like a per like percentage. Five. He's. Oh, I hope if he, he was uh, smart. He got a, a back yeah. kick of the. Percentage. He goes, "Yeah, don't pay me anything. I'll just take a percentage I of the box feel office." Like that, that's the kind of the vibe I get from this because movie. Because he believed in it. Because he was so on board with it. Yeah. So they're like, "Ha ha! Of course we'll sign that deal. Here, I'll cut you a check for two hundred dollars right now." Yeah, and then he's like, "One hundred fifty million. What? <laughs> yeah, how much are we gonna?" And then let's else? let's let's put this in perspective. This is one hundred fifty million for a superhero movie. 
an R. I, it's a, only a third of the kids went and saw this movie. This mm-hmm. is mostly adults. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is yeah. mostly fans and adults. You know, they missed out on $16 on my family because we didn't take our two kids. Most reasonable adults didn't take their children to see this movie. <laughs> this is 150 of adult money. Yeah. That much makes it better. Do uh, you guys think this will Do you think it's going to be big next weekend? I think maybe. Mm. What's what's opening next weekend? Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, that's a good question. I had nothing that I know of. So see, the like fact Zootopia that Zootopia or I something. I could see I this. No, that's not till March. March. Well, what that is might that? Not. Like, what is that? It's just the world with animals. Yeah. I didn't. It didn't it's, look good. No. It looks stupid. I'll probably end up having to see it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so will I. But you know what I'm gonna have to go see that I don't want to see the Angry Birds movie. No, uh, no, we just won't want to see right up the ass. No. I don't want to see that. <laughs> but well. I will definitely see it twice, with or without you guys. I'm I think I'm this gonna have to go again. see it again too. Okay. It and I think movie. most adults will go see this movie. Gods of Egypt. I I don't oh. know if that's this week or oh what Eddie the Eagle. Yeah. What, what is that garbage too? Oh like, that that was a trailer. Yeah, yeah. These were all trailers when I saw oh, the yeah. Triple Nine. That one I was like, huh, interesting. Mm. Deadpool's going to be number one terrible. next weekend. Yeah, yeah. Deadpool will be number one. And even if there's it, nothing there, what, that what is it usually? Yeah, it, no. it goes in. What's the what's the general rule? It goes what half the second well, shit, week. That's still, that's still yeah, million dollars. That makes another sixty million. Yeah, and I don't, and and the thing is, that's one hundred and fifty. That's domestic. I think it did another hundred and something million worldwide. Shit. It's made over two hundred million worldwide yeah, this, already. Yeah. Right. Remember the Spanish trailer we watched last week? Yeah. <laughs> that was interesting. I, you don't. <laughs> yeah, just to see that one or two second scene. <laughs> that we didn't see before. Deadpool. Slightly different. Yeah. <laughs> so. Oh wait, Hail Caesar! I guess maybe that already came out. That's a uh, no. That's a, yeah. That came out this week. Yeah, that came out that's recently. That's a real that's another, niche yeah, film. That's, that's, gonna, that's an. Right, that's right. what I like to call a New York L.A. film. Yeah. What? You know, how are the Coen brothers still, like, at that level? They, these guys are, know. like, some of the greatest American filmmakers in history. I don't know. But I guess this is kind of like a smaller Because type. of what they make. Yeah. They don't make popcorn movies. Right. Yeah. Not since uh, No Country for Old Men, anyway. Yeah, but that only that was only the a popcorn movie, be, a movie after it started getting those Oscars. Right. No, I well, I saw it I, before that, but... Yeah, but what I'm saying is that they make, they make the, art movies. Yeah, they do. They do. I know, I know. They don't make but, fun movies. But, yeah, the movies I, aren't fun. This one looks like it might be fun. Yeah, actually, yeah. This actually, this one does look pretty good. Yeah. This one, did, but I think so. it's a New York. They do really good comedy. They haven't really done it for a, a while. A New York, LA movie, which that means it is not going to have any chance to topple. No, Deadpool. I know, I know. Yeah. No, Deadpool will be big next week too. Yeah. So it's probably going to. Oh, pull. what about Zoolander two? I would say oh, another. See, that's that's the thing. <laughs> Ooh, this that made got slaughtered. this made yeah. 150. I don't think anything else broke like 50 million. I don't think Which it was close. Which is sad because I actually thought Zoolander two looked kind of funny. I haven't seen Zoolander. I have. Oh, it's it's worth a look. Yeah, it's, I, it's fun. Zoolander's pretty funny. The thing is, they, I I when, have something against movies. If if there's a reason someone acts like an idiot, <laughs> I can handle that. You just don't like it when they're really actually <clears throat> stupid. I, I've never seen Dumb and Dumber. Oh, I cannot oh, handle whoa, that. Really? I cannot handle two idiots just being two idiots. Oh. That's why I've never but seen. They're lovably stupid. I can't. Yeah. I can't handle it. It's just stupid gag. It's it's the stuff they go. <laughs> if that was real life, they'd be in a mental institution. They'd be getting their asses kicked every two seconds. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So I can't. Oh. I can't. Not Ace Ventura. What about Ace Ventura? Nope. Oh, I haven't seen Ace Ventura. Okay, what about the Water Boy? I've seen the Water I'm, Boy. I'm I never saw the Water but Boy. But he's he's That's he's really he's like. Uh, Oh, um, Tom Hanks as for he's like Forrest Gump. Oh, so like no. here's normal. Here's just below normal. So did you not see Forrest Gump? I saw Forrest okay. Gump because he was slightly retarded. That's the reason. Well, maybe I've seen Bobby Forrest. Boucher's oh, slightly different. retarded. Well, that's why I've seen Waterboy because maybe sure he maybe slightly... Dumb and Dumber are slightly retarded. No. I think Zoolander has to be kind of slightly retarded, but he's just really pretty. I, I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I no, think... he just doesn't have to be smart. That's the yeah. thing. He's... He's... That was so funny. What about what's he eating Gilbert Grape? Nope. Most natural that. role Leo's ever portrayed. I actually saw a, uh, this guy was going off on supermodels. He goes, he goes, you ever notice when they're young and pretty that they have no problems getting by on their looks? 
But once they get older and they start looking a little rough, then all of a sudden, well, you need to get women with talent. You need women that, that, that you know, blah, blah. Because you have a fucking makeup line that has nothing to do but with looks. And now you're trying to say that women, you need to be more deeper when you, when you, you know, cast women. Or sometimes you, you just open your mouth and talk like Tyra Banks does and stuff yeah. comes out that makes people not like you. There's a reason you get by on your looks because... <laughs> But it's we've been doing this for an hour and a half. You guys ready to wrap it up? Yeah, everybody, go see Deadpool. You will laugh. Your yeah, but do not take mom. Do not take you know not your mom. (laughs) Actually, my mom went and saw it, and she really liked it too. But did she see it with you? No, I might take my mom just to see the reaction. Yeah, I'm gonna do one of those reaction videos, and I'm gonna say, "Hey, Fine Brothers, I ain't paying you shit." (laughs) (laughs) We're sorry about that. Well, that that kind of yeah, that went away quick, Mm -hmm. but. My my oldest son, my, we always take mom. Mom likes superhero movies. She likes Hugh Jackman. We always take her to these movies. <laughs> my son goes, Dad, would you take grandma to see this movie? Oh, well, said, well. if your grandma wants to see it, I will pay to let her go see it. I will, I'll tell you what, my, my, uh, my mom's husband, my stepfather, he will, he, he'll die laughing. He will not stop laughing through this movie. He will not be able to handle it. Well, and he that. doesn't even like superhero movies. He's just, this is. Yeah, I think my dad would love this movie, too. <laughs> yeah. So, but see it, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, Twice. Totally. The more the more we can back movies that, you know, fans love. Yes. Maybe, I hopefully. I just hope they come away with the right idea. Yeah, right. Well, and that's something, yeah, we mentioned, like, the Tim Gunn thing. James Gunn. Or, or, James yeah. Gunn. Well, who's Tim Gunn? Is that a You're person? thinking of Tim Miller, the director, okay. yeah. and I, who I call T.J. Miller. Right. Uh, we have pro- names. Yeah. Come on, people, get hard. real names. <laughs> um. Uh. Yeah. Like what Hollywood will do is they're going to be like, okay, let's make another crazy action movie superhero that cusses and is gross. They're going to make the the. They don't make Lobo. Oh, and think it's going to do gonna as good. It. Yeah. DC is going to make Girl again. <laughs> That's yeah. all we got to say. Yeah, Tank yeah DC will try oh, to I make Lobo, like and it will uh, That movie, mm. I guess it hit me at the right time. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, yeah, it had to. Uh, right uh, place, was, right And time. I like Lori Petty. Snip, I, I really snip. liked her. Yep. But, oof. <sighs> yeah, it's... She was coming right off a League of Their Own, nice too. Oh, oh my gosh. As a can, kangaroo you know, guy. I, I don't you know. want to talk about Tank Okay, girl. yeah, the kangaroo guys, those are kind of lame, but... <laughs> oh, let's not even mention that Malcolm McDowell didn't have a head. Remember that? His head was holographic. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yes, you forgot about that, didn't you? You No, you blocked it because it was terrible. Yeah, <laughs> Malcolm McDowell was in I forgot he was in it, too. Yeah, that's the whole rose-colored glasses thing. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, maybe it doesn't hold up. Okay. Hope not. Oh, dang it. <laughs> I hit the mic. What are we, are we going to do some trivia? Yeah, we do trivia. Oh, uh, let me see. That's how we always close out this thing. Close it so out. See if you can find some Deadpool questions. Uh, <laughs> this is early 90s or late 90s. Oh, yeah. Cool. Did you hear when they walked in the bar? That might have been in a trailer. The first oh, thing Liefeld. I heard. Liefeld. Yeah. Fuck, fuck Liefeld. <laughs> that was, the first that thing was I heard. so funny. <laughs> I was like, yay. <laughs> He's getting a tattoo or something. Yeah. All right. What is Phoenix's real name? Jean Grey. Okay. This is, the, given the, the age of these cards, it's either Jean Grey or. Rachel Summers. Rachel Summers. That's Phoenix, too. What agency is also? Nick Fury a leader of? Shield. Shield. What is Peter Parker's favorite school subject? Science. Science. What villain runs crime academies to teach goons and minions how to fight? Taskmaster. <clears throat> what year was Cloak Ooh. and Dagger number one published? 1980. I'd say six or seven. I'm going to say eight. It's like, okay. You guys remember that movie, Cloak and Dagger? No. Vaguely. With uh, Dabney Coleman. No, I, I don't love remember that, movie, that man. No. Oh wow! The kid gets like an Atari cartridge that has secret uh, microfilm yeah, in it or something. Yeah, I vaguely recall. Okay, Jean Grey, mm-hmm. Shield, Science, Taskmaster, nineteen eighty-five. Damn. 85. So yeah, that was a lot earlier. What did they first appear in? Did they first appear in Spider-Man? Spectacular Spider-Man, Spider-Man yeah. I believe. So. Yeah, I consider them part of the Spider-Man and how family. Did the, how did they get their powers? Drugs. Drugs. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll have you know that Cloak and Dagger, the movie, came out in 1984, so oh. they totally ripped it off. Probably. That's a cool name. we got to use it. Well, uh, Cloak 
is a black guy and is black, and Dagger is a white girl and she's white with, with light powers. Yeah, yeah. it's amazing. Yeah, and cloak. He opens his cloak and it's darkness. Right, now, and then, he can teleport. Yeah, people. teleport. I just people. learned that in Civil War. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, he teleported yeah. everybody out of Samford. Didn't Do you he, think? Uh, no, or no, not, um, people died in Samford. Uh, no, they, but uh, I mean, the negative know, zone. Yeah. Weren't they oh, fighting that's in the right. negative zone? Yeah. You know what I'm thinking of? It's something else. Something. It's yeah. something else where he teleported everybody away. Um, yeah, that's all he does, apparently. He didn't yeah. get everybody, but he got some of them. Most of them. All right. We're going to wrap this buddy up. You know. All right. Uh, yeah, it's in all complaints. Oh, oh, hold wait, up. Wait, wait, what? What? Uh-oh. Late breaking news, probably. What is it? What's going on? Someone's asking Kevin Nash as Cable. Ooh, I can see that. He's the wrestler guy? Yeah. Shit, he's tall, too. Oh, wow. Yeah, I can see that. Wow. And no, totally. no. I mean, I someone photoshopped, I think, with the, the picture. I don't think he's actually... Oh, the gray hair? The well, no, I think they photoshopped the cable where he's pointing at a cable oh. thing. But I can see that, yeah. And he's been in some movies. And he doesn't yeah. have to have padding on He was in that Dead, and Alive, Dead or Alive well, movie, no, no, which no. is terrible. Based if on, it's cable, he was... he's got to have, like, 100 pockets yeah. and <laughs> big shoulder pads. <laughs> There's not pad. enough pouches on this outfit. Just so, so Deadpool can go, fuck the 90s. <laughs> you know, it's like... See, that would have been a d- good Deadpool reference. Where it's like, I can't walk with all this shit on. Yeah, didn't he say? I, it seems like at one moment there was like a, just a, like a split second where he's just like, "Ooh, pouches." Like, uh, <laughs> it would have been funnier if he would have had he left the duffel bag of guns and he's like, if I "Just put them in all. If I just had pouches to put them in." Yeah, no shit. All right. All right. Send all complaints to contact at scramblebrainscast dot com, or you can reach us at Facebook at facebook dot com slash scramblebrainscast. Like it, love it. Live it. Yeah. Or you can just like it. Do that. Yeah. Well, no, like no. Do all no. those things. No. Okay, we'll do it. Whatever. Yeah. And comment. Uh, we're awesome. Yes. Yes, That'd please. Great. Comment. Comment. Tell us how bad we are. Hey, Cloak and, and Dagger. And then talk about how great Deadpool, Deadpool was. Yeah. Um, Cloak and Dagger was also the first film, major Hollywood studio production scored by Brian May. Oh, there Yay. you go. Oh, wait. Australian music. Not Brian May from Queen. Never mind. I don't oh. Know. Okay. <laughs> I was like, either, yeah. Would, okay, Unless like, he was Australian. That doesn't make sense. Anyway. I, I guess he also did Mad and Max. And next Marvel episode, and we'll talk about how Matt apparently was wrong about Zoom. Uh, we'll cover the Supergirl Zoom crossover. Yeah, yeah, Supergirl uh, Flash crossover. Well, we'll see. And next we'll week, no. isn't Gotham coming back? Uh, like, really soon? Really not soon. Not this week, Maybe but next week, because X-Files okay. is done. Uh, catching yeah. up on Peggy Carter. Yeah. Oh yeah! So uh, yeah, did you like, hear they're canceling Peggy? Uh, it's Carter? it's possible because uh, another studio, another show wants the actress. Oh, is okay. what it is. And I bet so. that's a really expensive show to do. Yeah, probably. Uh, that's what I was thinking. Even though I I love it's like one. It's probably my Excuse favorite me. comic book show. Well, it's more like a mini series. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Wrapping, wrapping up, up the wrapping show, up, guys. Up. <laughs> Horse, I, you kind of cut me oh, off here. Sorry. sorry. Fuck. This is we're encouraging people to listen to the yes end. next and, time on we're also on Twitter at Scramblecast. Uh, yes. You can also go to iTunes yep. and subscribe YouTube. and review. Maybe we'll talk about this next week. week. Yes, absolutely. We'll talk we'll about see. this next week because we'll know some of this uh, shit next week. Yep. Um, Blind eyes um, all. Or you, you know, you subscribe, review, or go to YouTube. Go to YouTube, yep. find yeah. us over there. Might as subscribe well. to that. You can listen to these with a nice logo right in your face. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's just what you always wanted. Right up in your face. What else are you going to... You want to look at video of us? No. No. You want to nope. look at a pretty low... Well, I mean, you might want to look at yep. a video of me. I'm so pretty. Okay. Yeah, now, you I'm guys, right. not nope. so much. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. could probably put you guys in hoods and just... <laughs> you know, change the name to Matt and his fugly friend. And then I could be... <laughs> <a teacher. laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm getting a... Oh, anyway, <laughs> we may focus group that. Oh, okay, cool. Go. That'll be great. Um, but you know what? If you can't find any of this stuff, just go to www.scramblebrainscast.com, and everything is there, right yep. at your fingertips. It's on the World Wide Web's, the internets. Yep. yep. You can do the emails. Have you guys? Uh, have you guys heard about this internet? <laughs> it's uh, I can't hear it's catching uh, up. Porn. <laughs> porn. Yeah. That's what it's made for. Wait, there's porn on the internet? A little bit. Some? Yeah, you gotta look for it hard. It's okay. not just anywhere. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna be hard when I look no for pun it. Intended. Ooh, all right. Goodbye, Internet. Till next time, my friends. Be excellent to each other. <laughs> <laughs>